Oh, to my point earlier, Lander Preston asked what chips are they using? So you can go through the your, your perfect configuration yeah, so, so that everybody knows. Uh, Mandy Bear, my first GT Live. Hey, Welcome. Mandy Welcome, Bear. Mandy Bear. Welcome. Clap and a half to you. Clap and a half to you. Yeah. That's something that we do. We're going to, yeah, that's you, the thing. That means nothing that's, to you since this is your first stream. I, oh, that's a good point. Lo long time uh, viewers. Now. Well, you know. Long time viewers. So get used to it. All right. <laughs> do you want me to talk about my configuration now? A lot of, uh, well, uh, we're talking to the chat right now. Okay. We're talking to the chat. Okay. Well, a, lot, <laughs> a lot of people are eating pizza. A lot of people are eating pizza. Hello, internet. Welcome to game. And welcome to GT Live, where the cheese rises in hotness. Oh, I thought you were going to do something about like cheese floating. And I was, I was like, I don't even think that's cheese true. Cheese floating? Like, you were like, cover cheese? it rises. Like the and Dark Knight like, Rises. Why is the cheese rising? The hot cheese is risen. You clearly like drop cheese. I am the like, cheese that FNAF World deserves. It's more of a splat, splat, splat. You know, I, what I was going for, what, what I was going for for that epic intro was where today the cheese is at its hottest of levels because today we are finishing FNAF World. Oh my gosh. And not just finishing FNAF World, getting every ending that we know about that exists. Every drop of hot cheese. We are <laughs> sucking every last cheesy morsel out of FNAF world. No, so, so Stephanie looked up the endings. Uh, I still yes. am blind to them. Uh, you Did you actually see the endings or have you acted or did you just look up how to do them? Okay, so this whole time through, it's been a bit of like a balance, trying not to spoil it for ourselves, but also trying not to just like wander around blind. Yeah. So I looked up the, like a read, like I read through the endings. I didn't watch any of them because okay. I wanted to try and like hold on to some of the surprise. You haven't seen anything. I've seen nothing. I've looked up where, like where the endings are so that we're not just like wandering, wandering. around being stupid about it. And then, so, but, and, but and since I've seen them now, I can also look at the chat. Cause last time we were could. trying to avoid looking at the chat the whole time. And then you guys were like really mad cause we were like getting lost and you were trying to tell us what to do, but we were trying not to spoil it. And so this time we can look at the chat and not worry about like me getting all like spoilery and then and also, you're still blind and yeah, it works and, and still, it works. And I'm still blind. <laughs> See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. <laughs> that, that, this. That's really unfortunate looking. But yeah, so anyway, okay. that, that was weird. So uh, the other thing that just to catch you guys up on is uh, knowing that one of the endings, so Stephanie, let me know. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Stephanie, turn off the sound on your computer. Jason. Uh, we have only done this every day for like how many days now? Uh, this is your computer. Oh. Uh, okay, that's not so, my job. Oh, I think anyway, <laughs> so, uh, the other thing I was just going to quickly fill you guys in on is uh, Stephanie let me know that one of the endings can only be unlocked via hard mode. So over the weekend, I played up only to up to where we are currently last time you saw the stream. Yeah. So we're all caught up on hard mode. That being said, I did uh, figure out what the glitches are for while I was exploring around and leveling yeah. up, uh, which we'll talk about here in a minute. And, uh, and I unlocked a, f a couple more characters since those are just randomly generated. So we almost have all the characters at this point. We're still missing two. I don't know if we'll actually get all of them just because their appearance rate seems very low in frequency. Yeah. So if we do, great. If not, so be it. Um, Good luck to us. Yeah, I, it, I'm not going to just grind for hours to just unlock everyone. Right. Because uh, no one wants to see that. That would be boring for you guys. But you know what's exciting? Seeing the ending of this game. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Who in the chat is excited? Everyone in the chat is. Well, there was someone who said you suck, so he, he's less excited. Less, but but is still watching. <laughs> still for watching. For some unexplained reason, still watching. Maybe, maybe they just you suck. Peace out. Uh, but let's let's hop over. Okay, you got stuff. Okay. Yes. yes. Well, there's there. Yeah. Great. It's cool. Uh, There's Twitter. <laughs> there, I was going to so say, so, so, so really tell me fast. about Twitter. So we have a lot of people eating hot cheese for, for this episode. Jalapeno poppers and cheese coming from some, from some folks in the twits. Let's I see. I've got myself some hot cheese and poppers to start off this great stream. Feel the hot cheese hype. At Jason the... At Jason the Derp one two three. Oh, Jason the Derp one two three. Also, pow pow at such a flop. 
new hashtag GT Live, and exam week is over. Best day ever. M. Is that Evern? Um, Evern? That's all right. Okay. No misspelling at the end of your tweet. That's it's, fine. It's cool. That's, Best that's day fine. ever. Hey, congratulations on finishing your exam, by the way, pow pow. Woo woo. Pow pow pow. We also get, pow, been pow, getting a. Power wheels. No. What? Pow pow. The power wheels. I thought it was. Commercial. Pow. pow pow. I always think of Power wheels. Rangers. Go, go, Power, power Rangers. Rangers. The mighty morphin Power Rangers. Okay, anyway. Best. The, best you, you, didn't, of power you, didn't Rangers? you didn't continue singing. I, I just wanted to let you sing. I only watched like the first four seasons. Wow, how dare you? I know. How dare you? Uh, four seasons? How dare you? Four. Power Rangers four. in space. I was only like five, Actually, so Power I was Rangers, like, pink. I, I just rooted for the Pink Ranger because you know, she was a girl. We'll talk about this. Okay, All cool. Right. All right, fine. We'll just play. Let's, let's play. hop into this game. Jason, are you ready? Good. Chad, are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. That was the voice in the chat. Oh, Chad, <laughs> you have such a girlish <laughs> voice. Um, girlish. Beautiful voice. Lilting. Lilting <laughs> voice. Awesome. And okay. Stephanie, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Let's bring FNAF World to a close, yeah. shall we? Uh, yeah. All right. Let's, let's just do this thing. So here we go. Slot three. This is the hard mode slot. So last time, you'll see we got the crying child ending, and uh, indicated by the little pixel guy there. And then uh, we got the chipper ending, where we just randomly found Chipper from Chipper and Sons Lumber Company saying, like, it should have been me. It's very he was meta. He was really, he was upset about very it. Very dark and meta ending. Uh, also, while I was playing, this isn't an ending, but I unlocked this ball, uh, which I assume is from playing the uh, fishing minigame a bunch of times. Because I was doing, because I wanted to get a lot of, like, power up, so I kept playing the fishing minigame to, like, earn 100 Faz tokens, and eventually I earned this. And now I have like a f hovering pearl that just I flies said, over me during battles. It's a pearl, right? It's it like it's a pearl. Cool. All right. It's a pearl. So there we go. Let's continue. Let's do Staff it. Half world. Uh, so here's everyone that we unlocked. Uh, a lot of good characters. Funtime Foxy is great. Mm -hmm. You'll see uh, some of Funtime Foxy's. I was gonna say his attacks, but it, his, her. Since it's Foxy, it should be his ending. Some of some of his attacks. Uh, Plush Trap is really strong. The Endos are great. And the Nightmare Fredbear, I am a big fan of. So here we go, let's, yeah. let's continue. And then we're still missing those last two. No big deal, it's fine. NBD. <laughs> also, uh, one of the other things that the chat was kind of giving us a hard time about uh, last time, and I just wanted to point out, was we had killed a Guardian prior to uh, approaching what we assumed was kind of the crying child ending. Yeah. Just so you guys know, uh, and actually, let me prove it here. So this ending, like where I'm at right now in hard mode, I have not gone to any of the switches. I have not flipped any switches. I have not fought any guardians. Um, so we're going in clean, but I want to show you, because I, I got that ending again, and I want to show you that it is the exact same ending that we had last time. Um, just so you know. Just to prove wow, it to you guys. Wow, look how OP you are. We're really strong now. Okay, so wait, so now, now we have, now yeah. we have UFO, now we have Reaper, now we have super strong endoskeleton that we were saving up all that cash for last time. Because I will say this, just to, to fill you guys in, hard mode is really, like, they it, it escalates, around. yeah, it <laughs> escalates quickly. Yeah. And so you have to, like, really grind and level up and get a lot of the, like, superior armor and weaponry and stuff uh, pretty early on. Yeah. Uh, I was really surprised by how much more difficult hard mode was. So anyway, so this is where the crying child, so this is the ending that you get from collecting all the clocks. Uh, and just so you know, no guardians have been touched, but just so you know, this is the ending that you get for the clocks. We're still your friends. Do you believe that? Yes, eyeballs in the darkness. <laughs> the pieces are in place for you. All you have to do is find them. Scott had to spare on the graphical expenses for this ending. He can only afford the two pixels. Yeah, rest. <laughs> rest. The end. That's it. That's it. There you go. So, okay. so that is the ending that we got last time. There was some confusion in the chat last time about whether or not that would be the ending for the clocks. It is indeed. Yep. So here, let me reload the game because it ended. So there we go. So we're all on the same page. Start this. Do some FNAFing. FNAF-tastic! 
And so now the next thing that I want to show you guys is what I figured out with the glitches. Yeah. Um, because this was something I had to fight through. The, the and and oh. just to clarify, do you mean the glitches through the stumps or the glitches down into the matrix? This is the glitches through the stumps. Okay. So last because we're, we're gonna get to the glit to the glitching three levels down and all kinds of stuff a little later. I was really stoked about this because this is just such a weird gameplay mechanic that Scott worked into the game. I think it's really cool. I would have never found this had it not been for you guys in the chat pointing this out last time. Yeah. So thank you for bringing it to our attention. So at various points throughout the game, there are areas that you can glitch into. The most obvious one is here with this bird. And you just kind of walk up into it. Now all of a sudden I'm walking on top of the map and I'm in this weird software like meadow world and I'm yeah. on a layer on top of everything. Um, you get these weird, hyper-powerful enemies. And they're like hybrid enemies. They keep glitching back and forth between like a couple of characters and stuff. And they are brutal. Yeah. Um, and for, when we first tried to like play through this, I, I got decimated. It was, in, in the stream, first of all, we were like, why are these guys hitting us for 9999 damage? And then going back, it was like, oh, you, you have to have the shield. Otherwise, you just get completely destroyed immediately. Yeah. So that was brutal. Um, but what I figured out was you glitch over into certain parts, certain chunks of the overworld here. Yeah. And so now I can walk over everything. And what, excuse me, and what this enables you. Bless to, you. So it was actually more of a burp, but thank you. Thank you. For Blessing you anyway. Uh, it's all that hot cheese I was eating earlier. Uh, but what this enables you to do is glitch across the whole map and get, get pummeled by some. Look at this. This is, this is nuts, by the way. Like, the level of activity on the screen right now is just absurd. Yeah, this game just, it gets like completely ridiculous. Especially once you enter into this like weird overworld glitch section. Yeah. This cosmic, this cosmic dance is like, awesome. What? That yeah, what, what is this? What is this? What is this? There's like stars and things that are just spazzing out. Everyone's waving back and forth. You have yeah, like gift boxes, things like yeah. flying around on the All top here. Of you got a little happy mimic bite over there. So anyway, so what I found is that what this enables you to do is, and where is it? I believe it's like, it w was right here-ish. Where was it? So, ah, so many battles. I don't need these yet. So you guys also let us know that the neon shield here is what blocks that attack. Yeah. Which is another tremendously helpful thing because otherwise it hits you for literally 999 all the time. Yeah. It's, it's brutal. Um, so now we're protected with that. Uh, but here, let me get out of this battle and I'll tell you the exciting thing I'm telling you, that, that we discovered <laughs> while I was playing this over the weekend. Get my endo. Look at this! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen things all fighting on my behalf right now against these like weird holographic hyperactive things. It is so so strange. Well, you need a lot of them because you're fighting with pizza. Uh, Let's face it's, it. It's I mean, hot I know pizza. I know stuffing. pizza can be very heavy sometimes, but you know, pizza and music notes. Feel the power of carbs and dairy. <laughs> You shall feel my wrath. <laughs> Carbs. No X lax for you. <laughs> yeah. There we go. No lactate. All right. Um. So anyway, uh, let's get out of this battle. So it's a good way to grind. Like it's a good way to level up your character fairly quickly. Yeah. Uh. But oh, here it was. I think it was right here. So scattered across the landscape. There were these red boxes. You know, what, what's inside the box? And yeah, we and were you finding, couldn't get to them. Yeah, we were finding gray boxes, we were finding gold boxes, but there were these red boxes that, like, seemingly you couldn't get to. They were on, like, they were in they areas were, like, that you couldn't, like... Up from the plane you were on. It was weird, yeah. Yeah, it was, they felt like they were on a different layer. And so as I was kind of wandering around and exploring these glitch sections over the weekend, what I found was that you actually... that. These glitch sections are to get those red chips. Yeah. Uh, what they allow you to do is walk over all those things that were blocking you. And whereas you can't collect things that are on the surface layer, like a traditional gray box or a gold box, in the glitch world, you can collect the red boxes. And what these do enable you, like, some really powerful kind of, like, persistent 
power-ups in the game. So you'll see here, I start every battle with my Neon Shield up and a Mimic Ball, and that's because of uh, two different red chips that I was able to, to get uh, while working on this. So, yeah, which is awesome, because <laughs> now I'm much more protected than I was before. Yeah. But uh, there, there's stuff like you can have just pizza randomly roll across the screen <laughs> at random times throughout the battle. It's great. Um, yeah, at some point we might be changing some of those and we can take a look at like at the configuration that we have right now. I have now. the perfect configuration, Stephanie. Well, then maybe you should share it with others. So well, then, when oh, they play this, this game, this it. when it's eventually re-released, <laughs> they'll be able to know how to how to do it. The uh, the other interesting thing to mention about the the glitch worlds uh, is that they're all cordoned off to certain sections of the map. So yeah. you can only get one red box per glitch section. Uh, and so... I would try to walk around to all these different parts of the map, but you hit invisible walls. And so there are certain items that you have to glitch into in each different location. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's actually really hard to find, and I ended up wasting a lot. You saw that it was like 20 hours of playtime um, on, on the game when I first loaded it up. It's because I burned through just a lot. Stuff that wouldn't be exciting for you guys, because I kid you, it was painful. It was a lot hard. of grinding. It was a lot this of grinding. This is actually really, yeah, it's pretty grindy. I mean, it, boring in so far as, like, there wasn't a lot of progress being made in a lot of time. Yeah. So, like, for you guys watching, it probably would have gotten redundant after a while. You know, and for me, I just fought a lot of battles. Uh, but it was it was pretty interesting to see what Scott had intended. And that the fact, the, the w crazy thing to me, and I think that this is awesome of him to have done, is... He actually programmed in this like weird glitch world. Like, who would ever think to program in this like meta layer of game yeah. over top of everything else? That like, what percentage of people would ever find? It's it's just a really smart decision, I think. And there uh, and there are enough teasers for it that you that you get a sense that there's something there. Yeah, like how do I get the red boxes? Yeah, and the fact there's that enough. You can't get the there's red enough boxes, there to tease it, right? It encourages you to like figure out, like, there must be a reason to get these things, right? right. They weren't just, like, it randomly included. And then, like, the yellow bird. When I first saw that, I'm like, there's something strange about that Right. Thing. Like, very clearly, there's a reason that this thing is here. It's marked, it's, but, but not, like... And it's out in the middle, but, and I touch it, and, like, nothing seems to happen. Yeah. So, you know, and, and also, I think, uh, hate on it all you want, uh, you know, FNAF and all that stuff. See, and, oh, here, I'll point this out real quick. But hate on it all you want. Uh, for FNAF and whatever you want to say about it, what Scott has been able to do that not a lot of other games take into consideration is the fact that we live in a connected ecosystem these days. Like, in a, in a connected world where everyone talks over the internet, everyone has friends, they're talking, they're watching YouTube videos, they're commenting on those videos. And so information sharing is such a big part of what a game can do nowadays, right? Yeah. And so he's intentionally coded in these absurdly obscure <laughs> things that no individual player would really, like, yeah. maybe one player in an, a thousand would if, really find. If you're working in a vacuum, but he knows that the internet talks about these games. Right, and so now all of a sudden it encourages people to talk to each other, gather on Reddit, gather in forums, yeah. and discuss, you know, do live streams and talk to the chat and see like, hey, what, chat, what do you know? And now all of a sudden we're able to kind of like piece the clues together, you know, piece the clues together, together. Yeah. As opposed to, you know, always just having a part of the story. And so I haven't seen many games that have been able to really do that effectively. And, you know, say what you will about the, the FNAF games, Scott is, is really one of the first big pioneers of doing that to a really successful extent and to like such a huge extent. So... You know, I, th I think it's definitely commendable. Oh man, look at you, BFF there. I'm just saying. With old Scott. But anyway, I'm good old uh, Scott. So you'll see here. Yeah, you I can't. You can't get that. get that right now. But so, you can't get the red one. So yeah. Anyway. Speaking of. Spe I'm pontificating far too much. Speaking of communicating, I'm just gonna hop into the chat. Please do. And read off a few. I'm um, gonna walk to the next cool. This we, we've come a long way since the last time we streamed this. Playing it on hard mode, getting everything set up. So. Um, like Solikun li says, literally seizure-inducing. Wow, it is. And there's literally there, there are a bunch of comments like that. Um, it is like rainbow vomit on the screen it right is. now. It really are. Um, and oh, to my point earlier, Lander Preston asked, what chips are they using? So you can go through the your your perfect configuration yeah, so, so that everybody knows. 
Uh, Mandy Bear, my first GT Live. Hey, Mandy Bear. Mandy Bear. Welcome. Clap and a half to you. Clap and a half to you. Yeah. That's something that we do. We're getting, yeah, that's the you, thing. That means nothing that's, to you since this is your first stream. I, oh, that's a good point. Lo, long time uh, viewers now. Well, you know. Long time viewers. So, get used to it. All right. <laughs> do you want me to talk about my configuration now? A lot of, uh, well, uh, we're talking to the chat right now. Okay. We're talking to the chat. Okay. A lot, <laughs> a lot of people are eating pizza. A lot of people are eating pizza. Nick Benjamin, pizza. Uh, CK Sabres 17, ooh, Little Caesars. Oh. Like it must be Little Caesars that oh, to, Little hurt, Caesars. to hurt that bad. Apparently, apparently Little Caesars doesn't really agree with CK Sabres 17. Um, just no, finished. Pizza, pizza? No, no. Justin Martinez. Justin Martinez, I was just eating bacon pizza a second ago. There was someone else from the chat a while back. I have like no hope of finding it, but they said they ate pizza earlier today. They had three different types of hot cheese. Wow, so that kudos is so much. to them for surviving that much hot cheese. Super powerful, super powerful member of the GT Live chat. Survived three types of hot cheese Three today. whole <laughs> types of hot cheesy goodness. Uh, um, An American hero right there, ladies and gentlemen. Brianna Ve Velez, or Ve Velez, feel the wrath of pizza. Oh. <laughs> right, that poison pizza attack has become like one of my favorite go-to uh, tactics. Bella Stika is singing Blue's Clues. We just got a letter. She's singing it in all caps. It must be really loud. Yeah, all caps. We yeah. just got a letter. We just got a letter. That one. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Just Lauren B. Lauren B. Informs everyone. For those who are late, you haven't really missed anything. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> Lauren B. I, I will have you know, Lauren B, that every second of oh. GT Live <laughs> is packed with quality gaming goodness, all right? What did we talk about opening this? We talked about a lot of stuff. We did we? Glitches. I, I have educated everyone on a lot glitches. of stuff. We talked about glitches. I forget where the You saw the are. UFO go like pew, 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 pew. That was exciting. That was a very exciting moment. Showed the, one of the endings already. Yeah, showed an ending already, even though it was one that we showed last time. It's okay. Jada Lichten. No biggie. Jada Lichten, Wainer. I'm really in the mood for pizza now. Yeah, so if you didn't want pizza before, you're going to want pizza in like 10 minutes. Right? Oh, man. We should have, like, I, seen I also one. want pizza now, by the way. We should have seen if, like, uh, Pizza Hut or something would have, like, sponsored. Brought to you by Pizza Hut. Pizza. Pizza Hut does weird integrations I've seen on, like, IDN and stuff. Yeah? Oh, man. Yeah. We should call them now and be like, hey. Have we got a deal for you? Oh, it was on a King of the Nerds, actually. The TV show. I don't know if you guys watch King of the Nerds, uh, Ooh. the TV show, but they did. Uh, love, love King of the Nerds. They they always would incorporate. No, it was Little Caesars, I think. They, they did this oh, uncomfortable, they, like. They always integrate with Little oh, Caesars. Oh, here's our Little Caesars pizza post challenge. Oh, Little Caesars is so good. Like, and then, it's always oh. that, like, uncomfortable, like, product placement moment where it's like, oh, oh, it's so good. All the contestants are like, this delicious cheesy bread. It's the best. Right? Oh man, what a great way to unroll wine with this cheesy bread. Mmm, delicious pepperoni and sausage. So okay, real quick, uh, let's let's put a hold on things. Okay. I'm gonna hop in and, and fight our first guardian. So yes. okay, so it's as far as everything we've read, it's okay to fight a guardian. We can still get the endings that we want to get. Yes. Ooh, should I fight a guardian or should we do the the three glitch down? I ending? I would actually vote for the three glitch down. Okay. Okay. I well, okay. I'd really like to do that one. So the thing is, we actually have to do it twice. The three glitch down. Ending? Yes. We're gonna do it the first time. Okay. And then we're gonna mix it up and do it again. It's gonna okay. be great. Okay. So we'll do the three mix down ending. Yeah. Three glitch down ending. Okay. Yeah. So we'll hop into that one first, and then we'll do the Guardians, which exactly. is the big finale. Yeah, you want to do that one, and then we'll take it from there. <laughs> so this is all in hard mode, so that way we have access. Right, we have to access everything. to everything. Right, we do. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Take your word for it. Uh, also in hard mode, one of the things that uh, came as a surprise to me: the bosses come back. Uh, unlike easy mode where they just go away and stay away, uh, the bosses in hard mode, are, which is good because it gives you a really easy way to like level up pretty quickly. You can just go back and fight them over and over again. Ooh, so one other thing we have to do. Yes. In, in the process of getting all these endings, Sky Johnson reminded us on Twitter, Sky Johnson 4466, thank you. Find the fan. There is an appearance 
of the fan. No. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going to say in what capacity. I'm not going to say where. I'm not I going to say how. Just fucking fan. How dare you? I'm not going to say fan. anything else about it, but there is a fan somewhere in some capacity, Which and we're going to find it. Okay. So I'm still hoping to find my other characters, too. Uh, I have the find characters on. We'll talk about my ideal chip setup in a second. Steph is still engaging with the chat. Which, you know what? You know what we didn't do today? We didn't actually even tell people how to engage with the well, stream. Well, Stephanie, uh, tell, uh, tell people. There's, there's, always, there's always time. We have so many endings to get through. So you can, you can talk to us in the chat. We've been pulling stuff out of the chat already today. You can also use the hashtag GTLive on Twitter because the chat goes really fast. We try to get to as many people as we can in the chat, but it's really hard. So sending us pictures or messages on Twitter is really effective. Uh, using the hashtag GTLive at MattPatGT or at Cordy Patrick, and we try and read those out. And sometimes we can even get Jason to pull one up here on the stream. Yeah, one of the things that we've been trying to do sometimes we're, we're, when, he, when he feels like we're, it. We're getting we're getting better at it. Yeah. Is actually getting this like curated stream of tweets of uh, fan art of the ones that like we find really funny or really insightful or whatever. We send them over to like this curated list, like a timeline, and then Jason is able to put that up. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. We're trying to figure out ways to like spotlight you guys. Why do you have some ready right I, now? I think I might be able to bring it up after this fight. Okay, well here we go. Let me let me finish finish the fight! Finish like Master Chief. Finish the fight. Finish it. Or yeah, like or like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I can like finish that. I can finish him. Just like that. Here we go. Bam. Way to put it over my face, Jason. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't see it prior to Whoa! Whoa. No, it's oh, over now my face. It over Jason. face. Jason! Wow. Come on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right me. Okay, there we go. Here, here, put your arm around it. There you go. There you oh, hover arm. Ah, uh, hey. that's hey. Hey, hey Fred. Hey, oh. Chad. Oh, hey, look at hey, that. Hey, loyal theorists. Wow. Hey, loyal theorists. Uh, loyal GT Live viewers. What uh, what do you have to say? <gasps> what, Jason? What do you have to say? Jason, loyal who theorists? is it from? The the text is really small. I know. So it is from Chris at Chris. On hey, Chris. <laughs> what? Sheep. Chris P. Sheep. <laughs> oh, Chris P. Sheep. Here, I'm gonna keep playing. That here. sounds good. So we can keep making progress here. Nice. First, first one of the day. Thank you. Wait, what, what Thanks, is, Chris. Wait, I want to see this. So, here, let's put it up over here. Oh, here's the drawing. Yeah. 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 Oh, jeez. Hold up. Oh, sorry. Here. I'm trying sorry. To get a big Shoot, I, I turned my head mind. away, and all of a sudden, I got like just like pummeled by escape key. You have full life. No, but I got hit by escape key, and two of my guys are dead now. Yikes! Get fucked. Hey! Yeah, there, there we go. go. Okay. okay. So, anyway. so it's, it's you look. It's you saying release the cheese, and it's me as a Girl Scout saying buy my cookie. <laughs> release the cheese! And I'm just really angry because I really want to sell you cookies. That, <laughs> that's awesome. And then there's also this aggressively selling cookies. That's that's Stephanie. Hey, aggressive cookie sales. I used to be a Girl Scout. We talked about it on the last. We week. did. <laughs> and what was the other thing? This this, this uh, cake pizza. Cake pizza. That's from Lawrence. Yeah. yeah. From, yeah. Oh, oh look oh, at yeah. that cute Whoa. cake pizza. That's adorable. Pizza cake. It, it looks like a Chicago deep dish. A super deep dish. Right, it is a super deep dish. It's like a, it's like a pizza pot pie. <gasps> a pizza pocket. That's something else. It is something else. Okay. I was just going with the alliteration. <laughs> Made no sense. All right, All right, hey! So we'll keep pulling in tweets, keep sending them in. We'll feature you later. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh. Okay, hey, Jason, get ready. I'm going into another boss battle here yep. with Bubba. I got you. I got you. Bubba. <laughs> hey, Bubba. So, uh, Springtrap actually has a really interesting attack called Springlock, uh, <laughs> which is, is pretty amusing, actually. Um, shoot, here, let's. Is switch. there like a is there like a moisture droplet that drips from off screen and I, then he like locks up? I wish it's just really the mask, and then it like collapses by like. Like fireworks, it's, it's pretty funny. I do kind of wish though that there was some reference to like a, a, the spring lots getting wet or something. Yeah. I think that would be hilarious. But you notice at this point we're just we're totes OP. It's great. But we're gonna unlock this. And I don't know, like some of these endings, or I mean, some of these uh, bosses, were, like in hard mode, were really like I was down to the wire in a lot of these. Yeah. So it's. 
It's pretty intense. Hard mode is definitely a commitment. Ew, pizza! So anyway, uh, Steph. Yes, now Matthew. That, now that you're out of the chat for a minute, uh, or you're not out of the chat, but like now that we're not talking to people specifically. Yep. You mentioned at the beginning Power Rangers. Yes. What was the best Power Ranger? Like, what color Power oh. Ranger was the best? <sighs> yeah, that's a tough I mean, one. Of the original, like yeah. original, of original. The original. Across all of them, maybe. Who knows? I like... You You said you only watched four seasons. Me! I watched early. I watched, yeah. I think, like... You watched a lot. I know you did. Well, because what uh, ABC Family would do, actually, was... Uh, I think it was ABC Family. They, they still probably do. I think now it's it's under Jetix. Um... But what they do is they do like the the Power Rangers highlight reels mm -hmm. where they cut out all the filler episodes and only do the ones that are like forwarding the plot where they get a new power or they beat an enemy <laughs> or whatever, which is great. Uh, and so I watched probably up through season 10, 11, or 12 through that method. Oh, so I wow. got really caught up uh, oh, yeah. you know, to Dino Thunder. I stopped at like Mystic Force or something like okay, that. Okay, so I stopped before Power Rangers Zeo. Power Rangers Zeo was like season... I know I stopped before that one. I I saw parts of Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers though. Alien Ranger? I don't know. But, but, I, but I stopped watching at that point. Is that like, a separate thing? Huh. Yeah. But that, I mean, that was officially season three. Officially. Yeah, in the early seasons, it was hard to tell. It was, like, it, it kind of, different, it like... kind of blended, right? And yeah. then you had the movie and I saw the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. Oh, the movie. The movie. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, I mean, I was... I was pretty, I was pretty little, right? So if there was a girl, you know, give me some Pink Ranger. I like the Pink Ranger, and I like the Yellow Ranger of the original. So you original. like the girls. So you were a girl who liked. I the was girls. a girl who liked the girls. Come on. Well, guess can what? You, can you I was a, me? I was a boy I like who liked the girls too. So uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Ranger right? was the Red Ranger was pretty cool. Though. My my, I would say also like on my list of favorites was the Black Ranger. I thought his axe was awesome. Yeah. I thought his Zord was awesome. I thought the Black Ranger was super. I love the color black in general. So okay. So we've been one layer deep, we're now two layers deep. Okay. Keep we going. learned last time that this is a fake wall, so now we're three layers deep. We're not supposed to go deeper than this layer. Keep going, my Last friend. time we found how to get deeper than this layer, but we were scared to because we were told by Fredbear not to. Because right? we were just, we were wimps. Not wimps. <laughs> we were listening to the instructions that the supernatural told us. So I haven't done this. It's not going to crash our game or anything, right? So, I mean, obviously, we'll have to reload it because you'll the game has ended, see. but like... You'll have to see. Well, you'll have to see if it, it does end. Delete yes, it's not going to delete yeah. my progress or anything, is it? You have to find out, man. I'm not I'm not going to give away anything. Uh, I'm not going to do it. You probably should if we're doing a stream that's yeah, like, hey, we're doing all of FNAF ending. I said we should do this. I'm not going to... That won't crash. It, right, okay, okay, yeah. well... Mr. Logic over there. Hashtag blame Stephanie if, if anything goes wrong. Here we go! Four layers deep! Go! Into the breach! Right? Yeah, you I got, got a pearl. I got my pearl. All right. Yep. Look, look. So I actually don't know if the pearl makes a difference or not. This is peaceful. Right? This is kind of nice. No, it's really relaxing. It's red. Here. Hey, let's talk to this guy. I'm just going to pull you off the screen for a second. I'm sorry to say that you have gone too deep into the code. There is no way back out. <laughs> Whoops. My name is Old Man Consequence. <laughs> My name is Old Man Consequences. Come have a seat and let's fish for a while. You have nowhere else to go. Nice southern accent there, friend. The end. Really? Is that, is that it? But you're still moving around. I'm still kind of moving, but I'm stuck in place now. Can I, like, do something? Type in fish. Fish! I typed in fish. It did nothing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> backslash fish. <laughs> Old man consequences. All right. Cool. I want to fish with you, bro. Let me fish with you. How 
can I fish if you won't let me move? Well, just let him fish, bro. Hey, man. Fish and then right? You a hole. You've got eternity down there. What's the rush, friends? Uh, the fish be biting. How Old he... man consequences has had more than his chance to gather his he doesn't see... data fish. He doesn't he's data to be... fishing. Oh, uh, he's, uh... he's ph ishing. He's fishing. This is all just a hack. This is a hack. Anyway, all right. All right. So th that was fun. Oh, man. I, I like that. It's got cough that is anonymous. So let's okay. So we'll reload. So there's another ending there. Yeah, go back. So is there like uh... go back through, man? So I, I'm assuming I have to like touch everything like so don't yep. so okay don't, so okay, oh, we got it so we got a new one got a new one so we got our glitch fred bear mm -hmm. that's cool yep all right so we'll go back there and uh try again yep and i'm assuming i just need to like glitch into something like probably right oh you hey. just need to oh, go back go back down wow. the same way sure but like I shouldn't talk to old man at this point, I, I would assume. I don't know, you'll have to find out. Oh my gosh, Stephanie! You queen of vagaries, you! You queen of not telling us- I'm not gonna ruin it it's for fine. everybody! Okay, I, I, You might want to give everything away, spoil it all. Uh, you, just, you just hate letting people discover things for themselves. Wow. Old man consequences. <laughs> Old man consequences. So that was a weird ending. Yeah. So what? So while we're getting back there, instead of instead of trying to spoil everything for everybody, why don't you talk about how you feel about that ending? It's pretty weird, right? It was. It was a very strange ending. What does it? Event. What does it mean? How How does it apply to the larger FNAF universe? Uh, I mean, really, it, it, it feels just like pretty cut and dry, right? Like the game warned you not to go more than three layers deep, and you did. And so it's basically like told you so. Scott kind of like, yeah, yeah, like, hey, I told you so. Yeah. And you didn't do it. And so now you're being punished. So that's we like it's, it's a very it, 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 again, it's another ending that feels kind of meta, you know, where it's like, yeah, it's not really telling you anything about the deeper story. Like, oh no, we can't get back because of reasons. You you crossed like the data threshold it or whatever. It seems it seems to me like another ending that shows you how Scott Cawthon feels about programming video games and about responses to his own games. More so than so. more than something that applies directly to FNAF lore. Yeah. Oh, so totally. so an ending like an ending like the Chipper and Sons ending that we that we did last time was about how, you know, oh, it was supposed to be me, it was supposed to be me. Scott made all these other games and they didn't go so well. And you know, whether it's tongue in cheek or not, it kind of says like Hey, why didn't you like any of the other stuff I made? Like, I made other games. Why why didn't you pay attention to any of those? This ending is like, I tell you guys, I give you guys rules, I give you guys like structures for games, and no matter what I do, you're going to ignore it. You're going to try and break my games. Yeah. You're, I mean it's it's true. You're gonna you're just gonna try and break my games. And so I wonder if that's like to the people who like code hack the games to like figure out like <laughs> For instance, the the Happiest Day minigame in FNAF 3 was discovered like day of the game's release because people data mined the game and yeah. basically broke into the files and figured out like, oh, this is how you uncover all these really obscure games, right? This is how you uncover all these really obscure different like clues. Yeah. I wonder, I, yeah, I wonder if that's part of it. Like, hey, I make these games to be played. Not to be broken. Yeah, not like to be why broken. Are, why do you have into. to? Yeah, That's why do you have to mess with everything? That's interesting. Huh. All right. So uh, go down again. Okay. So go down again. And don't talk to old man River. Yeah. Old man consequences. Old man consequences. Hey there, um, Sonny. I like the way your pixels look. I don't know if there's a reason why it's like a fisherman in a pond or anything though. So that was just like an arbitrary decision. All right, okay, so wait, wait, wait. So, so, so okay, don't talk to the guy. Okay, I'm not gonna talk to the go, guy. Go up the other way. Go up the other way. Okay. Go up the other way. Okay. Okay. All right. And All right, so hang out like in this area. Something in the pond. Hang out. See if, see if you can get it in the pond. I'm, I'm curious. Because this is, oh, I mean, wait, wait, I'm, wait, wait, wait. I'm getting this ending. Wait, I'm caught in the pond now. Are you caught in the pond? I'm caught Wiggle in the around pond. and stuff. Caught in the pond. 
Okay. Uh, wiggle? Like, ah, oh, going into the pond. Yeah, wiggle, wiggle around. Everybody in the pool! Woo woo! Adult swim. Adult. Fre Freddy swim. <laughs> Adult swim. Freddy swim. Old man consequences is gonna oh, no, catch himself man. a Freddy Fazbear. Old man consequences. Here. Fish you out. There you go. I haven't seen any of this. I've only read about it. So I was hoping these, this one would actually work. Wait, it does, can I, can apparently. I, can I keep moving? Like, what is this? I don't know. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? Wait, okay. I'm going to keep going back and forth on the arrow keys like I was before. Oh, I'm slowing down. I'm like stabilizing. Or I was. Wait, 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 wait. It's like I'm, uh, it's like tracking on an old VCR. Uh... Like there we go. I'm reaching the singularity. <laughs> You seem to be of multiple minds about this game right now. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, is, does something happen? Like, should I keep going down? Is there movement I should be doing? I don't know. <laughs> what? Is Actually, it? I do know, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> no, but like, I, I'm just, I'm just going to keep hitting back and forth. Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. <laughs> BA start. <gasps> Uh, Select start. Shoot. Actually, I'm not sure if something should have happened by now. So. Should I? Uh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Break it. Did I? Yeah. Did, what happened here? Matthew. What? <gasps> I'm lost in the pool of nothingness. Is it? No. Really. So, like, should I be doing something? Uh, your caps oh. lock is on. I'll try to turn on and off my caps lock. Okay. <laughs> should I go up and down? What? What? I'm not. Um. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if something should happen. Do you there. want some hints from the... Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. No, I want to hear from the chat. Let, let me hear from the chat, Jason. They're just what he should do. I I think we should wait it out. I'm not... I'm going to hit escape. Hold on. If... No, don't hit escape. Well... No, don't hit escape. Yeah, don't hit escape. Don't hit escape. <laughs> there, no, there's something that's supposed to happen. I just don't know how long it's supposed to take to happen. So we're going to wait. Stop, 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 what? stop, fiddling, stop fiddling with it. Just, stop pushing. What is just this? Is this like Undertale just or relax. something where I'm supposed to like wait? I think we should relax. All right. I think we should just take it easy. We should talk about this pillow. Wait, 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 wait. There wait, we go. Wait. Okay, there we go. What? Okay. What is it? Okay. So... This, to me, looks like a guy and two kids mm -hmm. leading... Watching a screen. Yeah, watching a screen. And like, he's, he's like kind of like holding them shoulder-wise. So it's like... So, oh, okay, okay, am, okay am, wait, 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 am I, am I wait, 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 okay, or? could this be, could this be a totally crazy interpretation? And I, I've only, I've only read what the endings are. In a very general sense, I haven't watched any of them. I haven't yeah. watched any of the interpretation of them. So this could be totally off base. But Scott has two sons, right? Two kids? He does. So, as far as I know. Is so you get, you get this ending by drowning, right? You get this ending by drowning in the lake. Yeah. You fall. So what are you trying to say about Scott and his two kids? He doesn't exist. What? What, that he's drowning in his work? That he's... You, that you... I don't know, you drown in the consequences that he and his family have all been impacted by everything that's come from this game. It's overwhelming. It's... Or is it, I mean... Or is it totally it seems, like... No, it seems to me like it's, it's happy. Like it, is it? It's, it's like, hey, here's me, here's my two sons on either side, we're all buddy-buddy. Why would and you... And we're looking at this, this thing that we created. Why would you get cool. that ending by drowning? Uh, by going too far and by drowning yourself in a lake. Because it's... Because, yeah, that's a valid interpretation, but because, but why would you get that ending by committing suicide yeah. in the game? I mean, you are kind of Yeah, you are. <laughs> this, this seems like a happy scene, though, to me. It's bright and colorful, but what... It seems like a peaceful scene. It, sure. No? Jason, what do you think? What's your, what's your interpretation I, of this? Well, I, I, I'm so also curious it, to take it to the chat. Does anything else, real quick, no, does anything else happen? This, okay, I I'm going to escape out, 
you let's we'll analyze this and I'm gonna start try so can I start looking for the guardians now at this point or so exit out yeah let it reload okay. I'm I'm still curious to wait, to I, talk I, I about can't this exit one out. Hmm. okay wait, I, wait 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 hold on let me can't exit out of the hold game. on let me see how you're supposed to get out of this one uh Don't work. Oh, you have to close the game via the task manager. So. Oh, man. So, so this one, Alt F4. that's another reason oh, okay. why, like, this one is, this one is Damn. meta again. Like, while you're playing video games, if anybody tells you to Alt F4 to do something, don't do don't it. Don't do it. Just a tip. Don't yeah, tip. learned that one early on. Really? No one's, ever <laughs> no one's ever done that to me. Thanks, Battle.net. Whoa! 1998. <laughs> I was uh, 10, okay? <laughs> God! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's really funny. Damn you. All right. <laughs> so, so, so you think it's happy. I have a hard time with it being happy. First, because it's a Five Nights at Freddy's game, and none of the endings are actually that happy. And you drown yourself by getting that ending, and it's not even an ending. You have to literally shut down the program to get it to end. It's not even a valid ending. You have to shut down the program to get it to end. But that that's interesting. Right? I don't, yes, it looks peaceful, it looks all colorful and happy, like, ah, oh, Scott and his kids, or like, whatever, are watching, like, YouTube videos of Five Nights at Freddy's on the screen, but, I don't know. I, I just have a hard time swallowing that one, Be, especially given how like angry all the other endings we've seen so far have turned out to be. Have we, uh, let, let's take it to the chat. I'm really curious I am what too. the chat I think we says should definitely about, the drowning, about the drowning ending here. I'm, I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say. Okay. Um, in the meantime, so am I clear now to go kill Guardians? Or hold no? on, hold on, let me, let me check here. Okay, wait. Because I don't want to miss any endings at this point. Okay. Also, does normal mode have its own ending? If norm, I'm assuming normal mode probably has an ending too, so. It does, uh, yeah. There are some of these that you can get. no more ending. Oh no, my, uh, my eyes are bothered. Oh, you poor flash. thing. <laughs> you poor thing. It's from me making you cry earlier. I didn't actually make Jason cry. That's, I'm not. Hold He's on. He's a monster! Bros. <laughs> hey. Hey. We have a special guest on today's stream. It's called... Albert Einstein. Everyone, welcome, talk. everyone welcome Albert Einstein. Hello, That's dearest. Hi. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Make him talk. What do you want? <laughs> Hello, loyal theorists. Welcome to GT Live. Okay, I, I, ju I just confirmed. Let's give that a clap and a half. That, that was two yeah. claps, Albert. I was never that good in school. He's a mathematician. He's a mathematician. Let's just hashtag blame Jason. Oh, <laughs> anyway. It is, ir I, I've just confirmed with like another source. Steph it is, confirms. Steph confirms it is irrelevant whether or not you kill the guardians first or whatever. So what am I doing next? Should I go kill some guardians? Yeah, let's, let's go kill things. Let's, let's go kill things. Do, 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 do. Starting off with my favorite one. Okay. All right. So okay. All right. Taking it to the chat. Take it to the chat. Let everyone give your interpretations about what you think that ending was. To me, I also. Oh. It's, oh, it's, thank you. It pay, seems pay to pay to. And bit. it's so well hidden in the game that it is weird though that like. Pay to bit. There, there was no trophy. There was also no trophy. You don't get anything from that. Oh, that's a good point. Yep, no trophy. It's not an actual, like, an ending So ending. is it, so but is it an ending, like, or is it not, like... Would you still get that one, if, would you still get the fishing trophy if you were to do that, because... Do that one first? I don't know. Do you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think so. Like, you just the lake instead of talking to the guy? You don't get the, uh, you don't get a oh, the end guy. screen, though. Yeah. Oh, you no! Oh, my God. True. Holy cow. You never get a the end screen. That's true. Yeah, there is no ending. Come on, man. Snap doesn't get, end. Get good. Get good. I'm getting good. Did you try trying to click on the screen at all while I was going? Because there's different colors. Maybe you, you try and click on one. I, from what I've read, there's no way out of that. I don't. Maybe the chat knows something we don't, but it doesn't oh, seem like there's a way out. Because to me, there's a reason why the colors are flashing. 
Either mm. it's to not be happy because it's hypnotizing to have flashing colors like that, or <laughs> they're slowly being hypnotized in well, that no, end. All hail Hypnotoad. I don't mean like we're being hypnotized. I'm saying like it's a lot, like he's being lulled into a false sense or something like that. Like the mm. whole thing in itself is hypnotizing, or. Because I don't think it's supposed to be peaceful either, because flashing colors are not peaceful. But I'm also wondering if there's a reason with the order of colors. Like, I, I wasn't able to catch the order of the colors, but maybe that means something also. Ooh, this is interesting. Uh, Kayla Beeth, it's saying Scott needs to stop spending so much time making games and be with his family. It, I mean, there is... <laughs> it's yeah. possible. There is a right? family... Potentially a family meeting to it, like right. Yeah, they're gathered around a computer screen, and so they're drowning in digital, like this digital world or something. Um, let's see. Everyone it's says click the screen. I, I I didn't think that you could click out of that. Hold on. Where uh, is she? Me, nobody. I don't I'm think so. I'm trying to remember where the. All, I forget where all the guardians mm. are. So there's there. Cassidy is not awesome. I feel like it's him finally being able to be with his family after drowning in all his work. Ooh, that's, that's a good one, Cassidy. I like that. Um, that's a good one. I can see that. Ooh, Harley is hella. <laughs> Harley is hella. Says, I think it means without Freddy, Scott is happy and can spend more time with his family. I don't know, not that great, but that's what I think. I think it's great. No, I think that's I a think really good I think it's great. Harley, don't sell yourself short, friend. It's just a theory. Game theory. A game theory. <laughs> you know, just just a theory. No, I think that's a, I think that's a really interesting interpretation of it. Like, there's a lot of it. Obviously, Ooh. there's no one right answer. Right, this, Albert right? the Duck. Only guys, Scott himself knows. Guys, it's a metaphor of love showing uh, showing you would sacrifice yourself for love. Ooh. That's oh, that's a that's, that's a beautiful. really sweet, beautiful, and that's a beautiful interpretation. So uh, we did the the Chipper and Sons. Did you try computer. clicking the screen? I did. I tried clicking. I tried clicking. I tried a bunch of different keyboard mm. buttons. I tried hash fish or whatever you said. Yeah, that was a different time. You know what? Dang. Oh man, maybe if I had typed fish that time, it would have worked. <laughs> Eli Davis, you didn't kill yourself in the ending. You killed Freddy. That's interesting. Mm. So I mean, you are playing as him the whole time. Right. But, but technically you, you are him. drowning him. So it, he's free of Freddy. And he starts Maybe. out. And so I don't know. Huh. Maybe. It's a lot of a lot of interesting interpretations. Hmm. Jody Nugen, Scott's life in the ending. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is, it, it's a, like, to me, this is a very interesting game because, yes, there are components to it that relate to FNAF, and there's obviously, like, we've been uncovering the clocks and all this. There's this, like, second layer of storytelling to this game. Yeah. But it also feels like very much a meta commentary on... FNAF as a series and as an entity and how it's affected Scott's life. It's really interesting. So it's Samuel Moon has a, has a pretty dark interpretation. Okay. He wants to be with his children, but we always want more FNAF. So he's stressed out and maybe he was thinking about suicide because of that stress. Oh no. Well, I, I, Scott, don't Scott, do don't do it. Don't do, don't it. do it. But I mean, the stressed out thing could very he's well be a part out. of it. Yeah, he would totally be stressed out. He, I, I'm sure he's stressed out. Right? And, I mean, and the fan were, shoot, where is the other, oh, I think that's the other guardian over there. I mean, the stressed out thing could very well be a part of it, right? Like, so when this game started to get some level of criticism, he, yeah. he pulled it. And so it's very possible that, you know, he's just so worried about kind of the, the internet response and stuff that maybe there is kind of that stress component to it. it it's very interesting. Yeah. Here we go. So here's another Guardian coming up. Nice. Coming up here in a second. Yep. Polyrath Gaming, meanwhile, has got a really loose tooth. Oh, gotta pull that, That's Holmes. exciting. Oh my gosh, I used to work on those suckers like nobody's business. I pulled... Do a doorknob and slam No, the that does not work. I could see Jason doing that in his house. Gosh. I pulled literally every single one of my baby teeth. Pliers. All, all at, at the same all time. At all at once. <laughs> 
No. You were just like, yeah, you were just like gum. Kids, so they, were just <laughs> they just go, yeah, oh, they, uh, they just rot it out. Oh, God. They, they just melt it up. No, you just pulled them all at once and then you had, you were just gumming things for a while? Yeah. Gra yes. Granny Pat? <laughs> Granny Pat. Oh, oh, turn it up my solid food. Ooh, Malachite slash Lapis says, Maybe Scott is looking over your game progress. Like he's like he's checking in on you. He's like, oh, people are playing my game. Look at look at how you're doing. That that could be it. Who, who escaped you is the worst. Jay Roca, it means he thinks he went too far with Snap. Whoa. Wow. That's interesting. A lot of a lot of interesting interpretations you guys have. Yeah. Cosmic. Uh, cosmic dance! George Vasquez says, isn't this chat a little too fast? How do you read moderate this? Amazing. Indeed. Good job, it, Steph. It is a skill. Clap and half, Steph. <laughs> Are you yeah. not allowed to yourself clap and No, half. not not for trying to like pull Steph from the chat. It is hard. That's Let's why see. you can always engage okay. via hashtag GT Live. We killed Freddy and it shows Scott finally happy. A burden is gone. He's happy with his snack legacy. And Ooh. we are always demanding more. He's showing that it's over and it's okay. And we should be too. Said Kay loves ice cream. Ooh, Kay loves ice cream. Steph loves ice cream too. But. I, as does MatPat. MatPat also loves ice cream. That's a great interpretation. I think that's really cool. I think that's really good. Um, Soldier Boy has a different interpretation. I think it Soldier could be- Boy? Soldier Boy. Oh! Crank that soldier boy, say, oh. Yeah. <laughs> soldier boy. And Superman, that woman of the night. <laughs> Family friendly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Superman, that little Debbie Snack Cake. <laughs> what? It's a little Debbie Snack Cake. How dare you? A uh, half of one, right? Because it would Half, itself. yeah. It's half. It's it, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's a yes. woman Thank of the you. night, woman of the night. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> so it's a half of one. So, uh, so these things are slowly disappearing, it looks like, just FYI. Yeah. Just in case anyone was interested, those little barriers yeah. that uh, Fred Bear is blocking. Um, I think it could be yeah. Scott can't give up on his games or he'll lose his money and fame. Ooh. Oh, no. Crank that see. soldier boy, say... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew a guy, actually, I we consult like in my very, very early days of YouTube consulting, I consulted a guy who did uh, who worked with Soldier Boy and Soldier Boy convinced him to delete his whole channel. <laughs> like he was one of the early, like really big channel. He had like five hundred thousand subscribers and was like he pioneered rap battles and Soldier Boy, yeah. like he fell in with Soldier Boy, he did his like fourth big like rap battle with Soldier Boy. That Soldier Boy. And then Soldier Boy is like, influence. "Hey, YouTube ain't paying you enough for this good stuff that you're creating." And so the guy like ended up deleting his whole account. <laughs> good, good times. Bummer. Right? How's that for a story? Mm -hmm. It was wild. I remember because I was working at one of the MCNs at the time. That's that's where I got my start doing audience development consulting, uh, and where I kind of like started doing all this stuff. And the next day, everyone's like, he deleted his account. And everyone's like, no, no, of course not. And we looked, and all the videos were gone. It was, and, and all of them, oh, I kid you not, know. all of them had multi million, like, they were like some of the most viral content in the early days of YouTube, and they just were all gone. It was. We, all of us. Oh, that's so tragic. We, we, he came into the office for a bunch of meetings. We're like, are you okay? Like, it, I, I didn't actually talk to him at that point. Like, I was just there to, like, help optimize things. But, like, yeah, it was wild. Good he, story. I don't think he landed that record label after that. No. He, that record deal. He did do, like, a Comedy Central TV pilot, which ended up not going anywhere. Like, mm. he, he just, he tried to do a, a tour. Uh, I don't know what he's up to anymore. Um... I hope he's doing okay, but like, I, I felt bad. Like, it was just one of those things that in the moment, you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm totally gonna do this. And then it, it was crazy. Ah! Yeah, inside, oh, inside YouTube stories, <laughs> behind, behind the views. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my God, what's... Behind, the views, behind the views, Zick. Behind the views, Zick. Behind the views would probably be a good YouTube That would be channel. fun. Okay, here we go. Here's the, ooh, okay. overclock. I like this guy. This is cool. Megabytes! Oh man. Right? Oh, there's a bunch of dairy zones here. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. Be Go gone, home. villain. Go home, overclock. 
<laughs> Be gone, Overclock. Look at us. Oh, we're just ripping through this guy. No problem. No problem. Boom. <gasps> old Man Consequences. I see something from Old Man Consequences. <laughs> There's a picture of Old Man Consequences that someone said. Oh, that someone drew. Ooh. At, Is it uh, me? At Shockleen. On a Shaka Bean underscore 29 on Twitter. Old man consequences. I think it's you, but with gray hair. I also look oddly Japanese. A little with, bit. With the, you, with the like, your... uh, Japanese kind of like Starburst pattern in the background. Yeah, and you've got your, your little cheeks too. <laughs> yeah, my anime cheeks. Yeah, but you're wearing your blue jacket and your gray. Oh, it's totally you. It's old man. It's old man Matt Pat. Old man, Matt Pat. Grant, Granny Pat, where you pulled all your teeth it's and... <laughs> I remember the days when you didn't have to glitch into a lake to get an oddly vague ending. <laughs> <laughs> a meta commentary on the game designer. All right, so that's three Guardians complete. The fourth one is where... Shoot. Do you I need me to look it up? Uh, maybe. Where is the fourth one? I'm trying to remember. There was, oh, oh, no, 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 I think I got it. Are you I, sure? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, I'll, if I, if I go there and it's still, if it's not there, I'll let you know, but okay. I believe I know where it is. So, um. Let's see, cause you have Overclock, you have yep. Super Goon. It's actually one. And it should be like right around. Here. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I okay, got it. Okay, you got we're it? Good. Yeah, All right, good. good. Here we go. Yeah. This All right, is, there we go. There so, last boss is somewhere around here, presumably? No? No Guardian? Oh no, it's the Guardian Gear Rats! I'm only seeing. So, All wait, right, did you already do Snow Cone? I did Snow Cone, I did... You did Overclock. I did Overclock, I did And the... you did Super Goon. You... That's all of them, right? Yeah, that should be it. You don't have another one. I thought you were still button. missing Snow Cone, but you already got that did one. I, I pushed the button, right? Yeah, right. I was you got it. Just had right, and so are we ready to talk to Fred Bear at this point? Do you have... Wait, who do you have in your party? Who do I have in my party? Mm-hmm. Uh, here, let me save it. I have... Uh, I have Nightmare Fred Bear. I have Funtime Foxy. I have RXQ Glitch Fellow. Endo 2, Plush Trap, Endo Plush, Spring Trap, and Cry Child. Okay, hang on. I wish I could have unlocked Nightmare and I, I guess that's Golden Bonnie? Okay. I've, I've, been, I've kept on the like find characters thing the whole time and haven't gotten anything. You need Fred Bear as a party leader. As a party leader? Yeah. Stick, stick Fred Bear in Leader there. of the Democratic Party? Yes. Leader of the Fred Bear Party. Okay. Okay. There you go. For the final battle, or...? Just, just stick him in there. Okay. You know. You know how it is. <laughs> like, in the number one position, you mean? Uh, or? actually, do you need this one right now? Hey! Hold on. Game. Da, 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 da. Megabyte! Every time I use Megabyte, it reminds me of uh, that old cartoon reboot in the 90s. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was it, wasn't the villain's name Megabyte? Yep. Right? I thought of that the first time we were playing this. I was right? going to make that joke. Every time! Because they were like, what's causing all the problems? And I'm like, Megabyte Meg and Hexadecimal. Hexadecimal! <laughs> Hexadecimal was terrifying. I don't know if you guys know this show, Reboot. It was in the 90s. I think it was one of the first, like, CGI... I think it's on Netflix now, actually. Is it? Oh, I think so. Oh, I would love to watch it. Okay, so I'm going to talk to Fred Bear. Okay, go for it. This is it! This is the... The same Fred Bear can't occupy the same space at the same time. <laughs> what? Universe <laughs> 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 Same Fred Bear cannot occupy the same space at the same time. That is so strange. <laughs> is that it? No meta commentary on Scott. Universe Edge, good job. <laughs> that
That's hilarious. Oh, that's so funny. How weird is that? <laughs> All right, so we've ended the universe, guys. Clap it half to us. Wow. It's All the... in a day's work. Oh, go oh, ahead. Go ahead. Okay. You, I, just, I think you were going to go. I was just going to. It's the end, end of the universe, universe as we know it. it. And I feel fine. Good one. I feel fine. <laughs> All right. Which leads us into Bam. Snap the musical! Oh my gosh, that's great. Yeah. Snap the musical. Oh, Who's that's so by? good. Who's poster? Who sent this one in? That is by Hot Cheesy. Hot Cheese! At Hot Cheesy. Hot Cheesy! I love this. Oh yeah, gosh, this oh, it's so good. <laughs> Starring Raul Esparza as Golden Fredbear. <laughs> <laughs> Adina Menzel as Crying Child. No, I think Adina Menzel. No, <laughs> no. Adina Menzel should be. Liza Minnelli Mangle. can be Mangle. <laughs> Liza Minnelli is Mangle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the minute you walked in the joints, <laughs> I could see you wanted a slice of pizza. You Amazing. wanted my hot cheese. You got like some spiky hair and yeah, stuff Liza going Minnelli on. Hair going oh, on. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get, get some of the cast of Spring Awakening the musical to do the, the crying children or something like that. They'll be all emo. Like. <laughs> I don't do sadness. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. <laughs> That'd be Spring awesome. Awakening. Spring Awakening, Fazbear style. Fazbear style. I only do sadness. Really a lot of it. <laughs> great. Also worth pointing out, uh, we got our new ending here with just like Fred Bear's dead legs. Awesome. <laughs> that that's my, I think that might be my favorite ending so far. That's really funny. I mean, the other ones are really interesting to talk about, but that was just like absurd. I thought that was great. All right. So I hope that that didn't reset. I'm here. I'm getting my party back. Yeah. Get your party back in order. Um, I hope that doesn't completely reset everything that I was doing. I hope not either. I think it should be okay. Oh wait, I can't talk to him now. <gasps> what? I missed his message. Wait, what? Oh no. <gasps> what? Oh, no. Look for him. He's got, he, he was right here. No. Shoot, what did he say? Shoot, we'll have to go back and look at what uh -oh. he said. Uh-oh. Wait. Poop! Hold on. Wait, you can still do, you can still... I mean, I can still... Yeah, you still want to go forward with the security guard and stuff. Yeah. You still, okay, so you still want to talk to him. Wait, is it the security guard? It's an owl. What? You said security guard. I mean, owl, owl. Here. I mean, what? <laughs> so, I'm assuming at this point, I'm not going to find those last characters, so I'm going to do, so just so you guys know my chipset. Okay, right? yeah. Walk through this, because we were asking. I have auto shield, because everyone was like, oh, you need the neon shield to protect yourself from the alarm attack. Excuse me. Uh, so I have shield up. I have auto mimic since I was using. It, it's a burp. You don't have to bless me. As I bless you anyway. I, I okay. accept all blessings. <laughs> uh, auto mimic uh, because every time I was using RXQ whatever to use the mimic ball. So I'm like, let me just save myself a turn and start mimicking right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, I have counter bite. So every time I get attacked, I counter that person with a bite because I tested out all these other counters, these Freddle Furies and this Pizza Fury. And they weren't as strong as the bite attacks. Uh, and since you get hit so frequently in this game, I just wanted something that uh, increased damage uh, much faster. Uh, and then I had find characters because I was trying to unlock all the characters. But since I can't find these last two, uh, I think un blocking unscrew and escape key seems like a big mm, win there. Yeah. Because those are just the insta kill attacks. Shoot, you! If you're not gonna find the other character, all right. Okay. Well, all right. We should we should get the we should get the hard mode ending. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. You should tell me these things. I really want us to find the fan. That's all. Okay, here we really go. Really want us to find the fan. So this is. Here we go. Okay. <sighs> Ooh. What is this? It's a it's an owl, Matthew. It's, it's an owl. Is this from is this also from what's his face? I don't know. I Actually, I'll, here, I'll is this look also it up. Chipper and Sons. It looks like it, right? It feels right? like something that would come from Chipper and Sons Lumber Company, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Weird. Let's see. Okay, so he uses the alarm attack, which we block. So thank you guys for your advice there. Yeah. So that's coming in handy. Wow, so you couldn't have even gotten this. 
ending if you didn't oh have that because it would just take you down. Everything. Holy cow, even with two layers of gift or like I don't see him. Jason, Jason, do you confirm that he's from that he's from Chipper and Sons? Because I'm not seeing him in any of the Chipper and Sons art. Chipper, I, we should play Chipper and Sons. I've, I've never really looked all that much into Chipper oh, man. and Sons. We know Daco's played it and stuff. Yeah, well, I'll have to check out Daco's playthrough of Chipper and Sons on the company. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'll have to look into Let's it. Let's see. Smoothie and Phil. This is so Frogs. I'm this seeing is frogs. so random. Oh, Tinker the Owl. Tinker the Wait, Owl trades owl? for wooden seagulls. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't know. Wait, so. Wow. Is, he, is he Tinker the Owl? Yeah. Hold on. Check out if he's Tinker the Owl. He is tackling that endoskeleton over and over again. Tell you what. He is trying to take him out. And just so you know, the makeup of my party, I have uh, RQX in there. Primarily because he was using Mimic Ball, but now they have Mimic Ball. He's a great guy for gift boxes. Um, and then also I have Funtime Foxy in there because also Funtime Foxy has Cos the Cosmic Dance or Cosmic Song, which is super powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, but then also it has the gift boxes healing, so he's a good mix of both healing and attack. Uh, Nightmare Fredbear is great for attacking. Um, and then Endo was in there primarily for the Neon Wall, but also Endo Army is really good, and I like Speed Song because it just increases the frequency that I can attack. So just a little bit more information. I'm actually having a really hard time finding an actual image of, of Tinker, Tinker the, the Owl. Owl. So toss it out to But, chat. yeah, and I, and, and I want the chat to confirm whether, whether that's like a thing that we know about, but Professor Alien says, the owl is the night guard, cause he's an owl. And it's a FNAF game. <laughs> it's Purple Guy! Purple Guy! Oh, oh my gosh, confirmed! Confirmed! Right? Yeah. It's very the term, like, Night Owl. It is. Like, night yeah. Owl! Exactly. But yeah, did you not? Yeah, that's that what, the yeah. connection she was making. I was just making it clear. Thanks, Jason. Oh, Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jason. So this is like this game's equivalent of Purple Guy. It is weird that Purple Guy has made no appearance whatsoever in this game. It like is everything insane. else, for the most part, has been referenced. Every character exists. There is nothing about Purple Guy. Mm -hmm. Which is just weird. That is odd to me. Because he's in every, like he's, well, he wasn't in the first game either, I guess. Um, a couple people say it's definitely Tinker the Owl. Arushi Som Sama uh, Samani says definitely the Owl. Um, other people aren't sure. He is brutal, man. Wow. Even with like all yeah, the right? power ups, like, he is so Although brutal. a lot of the enemies that we fought are from Chipper and Sons. Are from Chipper and Sons, because because Chipper's there, Chipper's a little bitter. Wait, the squid, the crab are also from Chipper and Sons. Yes. Yeah. So really, this yeah. is like not the boss. It's like, like Chipper and Sons' revenge. Normal guys. Yeah, it's Chipper and Sons' revenge. I was actually just noticing that too in the in the Chipper. So Chipper and Sons has like a character list, and it's like there are frogs, there are there's sea bill, which is the the seabird. There's is there an octopus as well? This is just. Ooh, holy cow. Uh, and maybe not, not I don't see an octopus. One. I mean, I see that crab, I see that squid. That yeah. Bite, like, yeah. Let's see. Just takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. Huh. Forget, forget calling in security the owl. He's oh, more okay. like a Timex watch. Um, Xenophilius wow. 394. Timex, Timex watch. Wow. <laughs> Says Tinker the owl looks different, but he did live in the robot graveyard. So. I don't know. The robot graveyard in Chipper and Sons Lumber Company? I guess so, yeah. I like Gabriel Henry's comment here of Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> uh oh. I appreciate that. Special shout out there. Ah. Keep fighting, I'm, my characters are dying, I need to pay attention. Okay. His health is literally at zero right now. There we go, okay. I was like, he, his life bar is gone. Woo! 10,000 yes. experience! Oh, nice! Ooh, wow! 500 Holy fast cow. tokens, great! Whoa. I found this really rare enemy that pops up in the Pinwheel Circus, who is a giant golden endoskeleton, similar to Overclock was. Ooh. He's golden, and he doesn't give you experience, but he gives you 1,000 fast tokens. Oh, that's cool. I've only fought him once. It was great, though. Alright. Okay, so you're, you've just gotten through security. So now... Yes. 30. 
Gertie. So now we're... You're going to enter the red tent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. And presume... Whoa! This glitch, final glitch. A singularity. A, it's the singularity! <laughs> exactly. So, so this is it, huh? Okay. Ready, go. All right. Okay. Hello, good. That's some real dedication. Great job! Most people are content playing through a game on normal mode, but not you. No. There is always an overachiever in the bunch. Yes, that's me. I guess that's you. Wait, it's Scott! It's Scott! Whoa! It's Scott's logo. Scott is a singularity. So it's your fault then for my misery. Wait, it's it's never enough for you people? Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what? Don't you get it? I can't do this anymore. I won't. Aw. <laughs> Mega Scott! Mega Coffin! It was fun being the puppet master, but now I grow weary. It's time to put you in your place. See, I told you. I, I told you it wasn't you. a happy ending. Now <laughs> let me show you how this game ends. Wait, are you kidding me? The final boss is Scott Coffin's avatar? <gasps> <laughs> Better start. Oh my god! Better start pummeling. Oh my god, holy cow! Gift boxes. Go, go! More gift boxes. Holy cow! Into army. He doesn't have a life bar either. Should I just try unscrewing him like I did with the other guy? With uh, Chipper and Sons? Okay, I'll take it to the chat because I, I don't know anything. I didn't read ahead about how to beat him because I oh didn't want to give you too much. Oh my gosh, he is like. You need to take his defenses down too because you're not hitting him for very much. I. Wow. Is there, do you have anybody who can. Get like, rid of defenses? Yeah. I mean, Holy cow. Uh, Megabyte. Megabyte's doing okay. It's okay. I don't know. Fourth wall is going to hurt bad. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh, man! Oh. Hey, you locking that with that shield. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Everyone is, uh... This is... Oh, man. Everyone's rooting for you. Kill him. You got it. Go, go, go. This is nuts. This is it. Finally. It's Omega Scott. Omega Scott. So the question is to unscrew or not to unscrew? Well, also... The question is about screwing. Also, there, there's a lot more questions that I have, Just, I mean, the, the question, to screw or not to screw... That's, is, that's the immediate question, because if you don't survive this, we have to do it again. Right. But there's... I have a lot of questions about this. A uh, couple people are saying unscrew. Connor McKay says unscrew. Uh... And do we go? Go, my little robot minions! Mackie Deuce says or go, Matt Pat. Megabytes? Uh, Go, Megabyte. Elias Terea says, just keep hitting him, and at some point, he will die. Yeah. In the words of that classic uh, pro tip uh, in uh, Electronic Gamer Magazine, shoot shoot it till it dies. Yep. Go right to win. Kill it dead. Go, go right to win. Run right go, to win. Kill it dead. Kill it bang. Still it bang. Uh, uh, I a couple, I mean, a couple people are saying unscrew. I mean, it's not, like, overwhelming in the chat, though. Uh, Sarjot Singh says, we'll, we'll fight for hashtag unscrew you. I unscrew you! Uh, screw you, Scott! Unscrew you, Scott. Uh, okay. Wow. It doesn't it doesn't seem like that's like the prevailing strategy. Not like with Chipper. Because no. Chipper everyone was like, unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. Get by. That is not the strat. Okay, not the not the expert strat here. I'll watch oh, out. If, if I start for, to see stuff in the chat that says a lot ball of that, is we'll switch. Brutal. Oh wait, hold on. Now now we're seeing a lot of unscrew. Okay, no, no. Oh no! Oh no! I lost my healers! Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Oh, you're going down. Oh, no! No, no oh. my other healer! Oh, I'm dead! You have That's to... That's it! I'm seeing a lot of unscrew now. I say we go back in. Oh, yeah. no! You're a goner. I, well, yeah, we'll just play this out. Yeah. Till the end. Oh, my gosh! I thought it was, like, untouchable! Holy poop Except on Except by Scott. Wow, yeah, Scott! Oh my gosh, Scott Coffin, leave me alone! Don't be yes. so mean! He's a gen- No! Ah. Oh, jeez! Okay, so we're gonna go back and unscrew. We're gonna try and screw. Everyone says try and screw. Wow! Alright. Yeah. Yikes! Ooh. Good thing I leveled up uh, some of my unscrewers. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I want- Whew! Oh man, Yikes. how exciting. That was intense. Yeah. So let's see, I still want... I, you need healers, man. So I guess I'll replace Phantom Fredbear, or um, Nightmare Fredbear with this guy, uh, since he's my primary... So like, we'll replace my attackers with unscrewers, I guess, right? <laughs> 
And we'll do these two then. Okay. So we'll try that and see how it goes. Okay. Wow. Ooh, that right. was. I thought like, oh, this. I hadn't. I felt like so OP for the game, and apparently not. Joseph Brandon says sends a dual message at Joe two one three four five six seven eight nine zero. Okay, great, awesome. Yeah. Hashtag GT Live unscrew, and I saw you at the airport. Hey, hey. You saw me at the airport. Look, did you say hi? Did you say hi? No. Gosh. So Joe. I like, I like to talk to people. Buddy. Guess who I saw at the airport? Bill Nye. Yeah. That's why there was no GT Live yesterday. Because, uh, well, actually, that because you were it. drooling in the airport. No, over no Bill Nye. Because we were stuck. We we had a flight delay. Yesterday. You were holding and gently stroking Bill Nye. I was <laughs> cradling in him, cradling him in my arm, uh, nuzzling up to him. Oh, great. oh shoot! I got to fight this guy again. No! Oh yeah, did you not save? You gotta save save the game, man. Well, no, the bosses come back in, the, in uh, hard mode. But uh, I, I thought that maybe. Does unscrew work on little my little friend here? Ooh. Nope. nope. Well, not there. Yeah. Get five to test song. Oh my gosh. Alright, alright. I mean, all right. we'll do it. Cool. We're gonna do this. Pizza take! Jesus take the pizza wheel! That didn't do anything. Uh gift boxes. Keep, keep, keep the gift boxes coming. Give gifts. Give, Give life. <laughs> I think Scott, I should have just like. I mean we'll try. Oh, we didn't finish the story. The real reason GT Live was didn't happen yesterday is because our flight was delayed. We were stuck in the airport. Yeah, we had planned it. So like, it was tell perfect. You, tell you how important this is to us to do this for you guys, because I, I love doing this with you guys. Like this, I have a lot of fun doing the GT Lives. Um, but like, the we had planned our day because we had to have some meetings up in San Francisco to do some consulting stuff. Yeah. Um, but we were like, okay, we gotta get out of there at you know this time so we can make this specific flight so we can get back in time to drive from the airport back and here right and here. make it for the live stream we had like, we were gonna make it between like 3 and 3 30 we were supposed to arrive and then it was gonna be like jason's got the live stream ready to go and jason was like I've got, I've got it, I've got it. I'm like pulling up stuff behind the scenes. We're gonna like, you know, he's like trying to get the game together and stuff. And we're like, Jason, our flight was delayed. And he was like, oh, okay, fine. And then he was like, fine, I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, and then Jason's like, all right, Screw you guys, I'm yeah. going home. Unscrew you guys, I'm getting him. Uh, unscrew does not seem to be working on, on this guy. Unscrew we... was ineffective, okay. Oh my gosh, go! Unscrew! Whew. I might have to just switch parties here. The guy's dying. Oof. I got him. I got him under control. Well, maybe not. There we go. There he is. He's back. No worries. Unscrew. Come on! Give up, security guard! Purple right? Guy. Although I do notice that he does have purple coloration. He does. Purple little dots. I don't know. He has one green eye, though, and one red eye. I, I don't know if you can... I'm not sure it's conclusive. Totally. It's lock. Yeah, we're switching out. We're gonna do spring lock. Maybe. This is my this is a more attack oriented party now at this point. Uh bad pizza. Ba -ba 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 pizza. Uh get boxes. Get yeah. gifts. Get life. I'm gonna take you out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love I love little scythe guy. Can I just can I just take a moment to appreciate little sky little scythe guy? What our little reaper? Oh he's so cute. The Reaper! Fear the Reaper! Fear the Reaper. Don't fear Don't the Reaper! Cute the, cute the Reaper. Thanks, thanks Jason. All you blue oyster cult fans out there in the audience. Don't, the don't fear the Reaper. Or SNL fans back in the day. That's true. <laughs> Jeez, or SNL fans, yeah, I guess so. Woo, spring lock! Yeah! You got spring locked. Oh my gosh, this battle's taking so long. So with Scott, do we really think that the uh, unscrew is gonna work? I don't know. Do we know? I, we got, look, last Chat time, first. last oh, time oh, they oh. were like, he didn't loot, use unscrew. So if we see people say unscrew, I mean, we're gonna try it. And I, and I will say this, actually. It unscrew was, has, like, yeah, in it, the mid part of hard mode in this game, uh, I was using unscrew and escape key all the time because it was the only way to deal with how hard a lot of, like, these guys just become such bullet sponges uh, where they just, like, take so much effort to kill. And so, yeah. like, unscrewing and escape keying them worked really well. 
But then you kind of go back to it, and once you have enough Fazbear tokens and like uh, energy and stuff to get like the really strong equipment, and your guys yeah. are high enough level, you can take them out fairly quickly. But it was really this back and forth of like for a while it was just like unscrew everything. There have been a couple people in the chat who have said that they've seen other people's playthroughs where you can kill Scott with Within with unscrew. unscrew. Great. Let's so do that. awesome. So the frosticle, this one's for you. Frosty! Yeah. And, and I think if a bunch of people are saying it, like... Yeah, no, I absolutely. No, I'm totally I think everybody, everybody wants to see the endings, right? I don't think they're trying to, like, make it so that you don't win. No, so no, we should, we should totally try I, it. I agree. Actually, I'm gonna, I might do rainy day, too. I might switch out for for this. Okay. Sludge slows him down. Uh, boxes. Yeah, I need him to keep healing us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give him all one. Boom! Ooh, that was a good one. We're starting to wear down his defenses. Rain day. Let's lower him even further. There we go. That'll help. Good box. Sweet. Man, this is crazy. Whew. These final bosses, man, are rough. I, I thought for sure I was like totally powerful enough to handle this stuff. Yeah. So, uh, Steph, earlier you were a little bit disappointed that I'm not going to find the fan? Why, why won't I find the fan? Oh, I was going to look that up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just want to I want to see what it takes to find it. Because, again, I, I tried to learn enough the fan. to get you to the ending, but I don't I don't want to ruin it for myself because no, it's I, fun. I appreciate that. All right. Let's be the fan, man. Every time. Every time. Every time. Scariest thing in FNAF. Have you seen? You could cut your Dang. finger on that. Got this. No problem. Just spring lock him away. Spring lock is a really good attack. Bad pizza, usually a good attack. Not so much against this mm. guy. Ugh, I beam. I beam every once in a while hits for like a nice critical damage. It's so weird. Let's see. What's going on? I'm trying to find, every time I try and confirm where this, where the fan is in the yeah. game, I just get, FNAF is a fan game. Ah! Like, like fans, or like, fans of FNAF. And it's like, no, no. <laughs> that makes total sense. Yes. Also, we didn't t call out our, uh, our pillow. I know. <laughs> our, our decorations. So it's February, and you know how we love decorative pillows here on GT Live. It's, it's how we we're, decorate the live stream. Because we're geriatric. Anyway. And today, for the low, low price, <laughs> we have this heart shape. Welcome to HGN. Uh, for the next hour, we're going to just talk about this heart shaped pillow in an attempt to get you oh, to buy it. So plush. Uh, so in the center <laughs> here, you'll see that there's a heart shaped design. Hand embroider. A heart known across the years uh, to be a symbol of love. <laughs> And affection. This it's this not... fine this fine stitching you can see contrasted around the edge of our of our artisan heart. Uh, technically, this is uh, not just any stitch. This is a blanket stitch. What's known as a blanket? <laughs> true true story. I know that because I took home economics courses. <laughs> a blanket stitch. Uh, that's a, a light a light stitch used for uh, <gasps> using together two <laughs> fabrics uh, in a in a in a nice decorative way. I, myself, am very familiar oh, with Oh, so the can't you just imagine stitch. yourself laying your head down upon this soft, fluffy pillow, this gentle felt that's stuck on here. Tell, tell your loved ones that you love them by giving them this heart pillow today for the low, low price of $23.95. Over call, 12 easy but payments. If, but, if you, but if you call now, in the next five minutes, we can lower that. Uh, with our special uh, TV offer, price, special member offer of two payments of fifteen dollars. No, it's always fourteen ninety nine. It is fourteen ninety nine. Or nineteen ninety five. Uh, uh nineteen ninety five. Call now. And this is so so <gasps> festively drawn because the heart actually doesn't look like this. But this is just an artistic. This is an artistic representation of what the heart looks like, guys. <laughs> People are saying save. Okay. Save. Yeah. Save. save. Seriously. Save. And also. Save. Also, it's Maybe. February. That's why it's a heart. Okay. All right. <laughs> Valentine's Day, one of my favorite holidays, Thanks. actually. It's a fun one. It's Here fun. we go. Oh, we don't have the dialogue. Okay. Just hop right into it. Get Unscrew! It. Unscrew you, Scott. 
Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. No. Get box it. Get box it. There you go. Go. Give your mom get box. Oh my gosh. Okay. Jeez. All right. All right. Go, 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 go. He attacks so fast. Screw more. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh my no. Gosh. Oh. Holy cow. Go. Thank you, Mimic. Oh, we're finally oh. back to like a normal state here. Yeah, okay. Jeez. Got it. I need to slow him down. I'm screwed. This is brutal. Yeah, right? Get box. Yeah, just keep pumping those suckers out, man. Oh. Oh. Every time. Get box. Escape key. Yeah. Come on. Oh. I love this that music, mimic. Though. That mimic's great. This music is great. Yeah. Darn it. Darn it. Get box. Keep gifted. Yeah. Give gifts, give life. Get caught. Give many of them. Let's grow! Scott, one tough nut to crack. Scott, your avatar has gotten quite big and buff. Buff boy! I was gonna say, he thinks pretty highly of himself, giving himself all these hit points and stuff. <laughs> Man. He's the final buff. He's the puppet Scott, master. Scott, jeez. Getting a little inflated there, buddy. Wouldn't that be funny if this was like a very meta ending and like you couldn't beat him unless you like escaped out of the game? And, like, Ooh. The I always wanted there to be, oh my gosh. I always wanted there to be a boss in a game that you had to beat by healing him. There, there are bosses I, I in games that like that. This was me in elementary school before that thing existed. Okay? No, it existed in elementary school. It did not. Final Fantasy games have bosses that you have to heal. Don't be mean. <laughs> they stole my idea. They stole my idea totally. Wow. My gosh, Scott. Oh, no. No. Uh, no. Stop it, switch him up. Yep. Oh, give gifts, give life. Okay. Give more gifts, give more life. Wow. He is. Oh, no. My healers. Oh. Give them. Give life. For lots. Okay. Oh, I'll switch back to my A team in a second here. Give. Give the gifts. Give the life. Gifts. There we go. Switch. Switch. Man, switch, yeah. Switch. Switch. switch, switch. Wait, go. Wait, wait. I'm trying to. There we go. I have to wait for the mimic to end. Oh. Go, 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 go. Let's grow. Take it, Scott. Take it. I'm not seeing a lot of gifts. Giving life. Not enough gifts being given. Not enough life being shared. <laughs> Oh, ah. yes, yes. My my UFO is just gonna kill him in the back ah. at this point. Oh my gosh. Of course, of course the uh, unscrewing is not working because he is just a ball of light and magic. Right? <coughs> escape key, go! I don't wanna play your game, escape key, escape key! No. Wow. This is Man, crazy. Right. Keep going, keep going. Keep fighting a good fight. Wow. He is a beast. Scott Coffin, you are a beast. You are an Adonis among men. A gentleman and a scholar. Both gentleman and scholar. <laughs> Go! Die! You don't even like this game, apparently. So we, we we do we do need to talk about what the there's Scott's, so many things we need to talk about. What Scott's <laughs> dialogue was leading into this fight, right? About like I'm so sick of doing this. Like I I keep giving you games and you keep demanding more and stuff. So, like that was crazy. If you can find like a, a copy of what he said, I'd yeah. love to talk about that as I struggle to survive here. Oh my gosh, go! Screw! Oh, God. Fourth wall is just brutal. Go, go, go. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, damn. Go, 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 go. We are making uh. no progress here. This reminds me of like. Right? You can't tell. Right? You have no idea? Anything. You have no idea? Which, I mean, is, is fitting for what he is, right? He is the puppet master, he's the designer of the game, so it's fitting that, like, he would be all-powerful in the finale, the finale here. Okay, so here it is. 
Um, well, there here the the one I think to zero in on is it's your fault then for my misery. It's never enough for you people. You people being the gamer. the com no not just the gamer the completionist. He's what like do you mean, you people? because he says he says I. <sighs> Most people are happy going through normal mode, but not you. So it's you people are just those people who like have to push the game to the boundaries, have to do everything, have to find everything. Okay. Yeah. So is it a joke? Do we do we think that it's a joke? I think that's the big question here. Is it sarcastic? Is this meant to be tongue in cheek? Or what? What was that? I tried water hose. Oh. Because mm. I thought, because water hose takes him out automatically if he's below a certain threshold, but he's a okay. boss, so I didn't yeah. know. Does he even have a threshold? I don't know. Is this like chipper? Is he like. It was worth a shot. Just gets harder and harder until you manage to unscrew him. Right? Jeez. Well, when we did chipper, like, we finished him off really quickly. Yeah, that was actually like, ended the, really the fast. Unscrew happened really fast. Oh. oh! Right? Funtime Foxy, I can't afford to lose a, a Funtime Foxy. Funtime Foxy is great. Oh no! Oh. Shoot, 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 shoot! Go! Go, no! Oh. No! I... I... No! Oh. No! Oh, man! Uh. What is this garbage? Go on, get there. Let's Go! I know, look. Go! Oh. oh, shoot. Scott Paulson, you have bested me yet again! Oh, just like in life. So, I think. Okay. Do we gotta debuff them? I honestly, what I think we do. All right, let's is, see if we can get any tips from no, Chad you know what, as well. No, you know what we do? I think we have three healers and one attacker. Because so? I don't think the unscrew was mm. really working. So I think no. it, we had a lot of shots at yeah. it. And we were mimicking every single unscrew that we were doing, so it was doing it twice. Right. It, whereas Chipper, it happened really fast. We also have the uh, Grim Reaper guy yeah. who is... He, he also has a percent of insta death, mm -hmm. and that wasn't working. So I think what we do is I think we swap in these guys again, um, yeah. and we have three healers here. So my team one is no, no, oh shoot, I've confused them. Uh, I want okay. So team A is we have crying child to heal. This uh, Arg XQ to heal, Funtime Foxy to attack and heal, and then Fred Bear as primary attack. And then Team B is just kind of randos, honestly. Um, Endo, who's been really good, Plush Trap, who's been really good, Endo Plush, who's been pretty good, and uh, Spring Trap, who's good. It, do any of that Team B have res? No, the, these are all the kind of like healers in the game. Oh, and you have to, you. so even though we saved it, we have to go back through that battle. Yeah, again. Wow. Wow. That's brutal. Unbelievable. I'm trying to see if there's some other way to, to beat him. It's hard because everything's in video. Right. I need something I can read. Wow, so now we have every, so and the other thing too is he can do power up and he can do armor down. Yeah. Um, so Crying Child will help, I think. But yeah, wow, uh, this the, is the, really hard. So from the chat, the Spring Lock damage was, the Spring Lock attack was doing a lot of damage. Yeah, Spring Lock was doing really well. Let's see. Um, Whoo, buddy. This is intense. Right? Shoot. Uh, now people are saying unscrew does not work. Let's see. You're gonna have a bad time. All right, use, one more time. Use the hot cheese. Let's see. If that, maybe that's what it is. Do we you have any bombs? The, hot the whole time. Do you have any bombs? I do not have any bombs. Hmm. I don't, so we don't have bombs, we don't have, um... So, so a couple people are suggesting a Kaboom from Lolbit in the graveyard. I was also thinking, so Kaboom, I, I, Kaboom came to my mind, uh, so those are the bites that fly up here. 
The other thing that came to mind for me was there's this thing called the boss drain. Ooh. Which only works on bosses, but I would assume would be a good thing to use against Scott Cawthon, who yeah. presumably is a boss. Um, I don't, I forget That's how much. Because mm. Five Nights is draining you know? Ah, Five Nights oh, is draining Scott in the game, but, but also in real life. That's it's just super effective. <laughs> it's, it just finishes Bad. him off and no yeah. time. I mean, do we want to do that or? Let's see. Some people are saying um, also to bring in Spring Bonnie. I mean, I have... Maybe some other people had had Spring Bonnie in their party. Spring Bonnie? You mean Spring Trap? Spring or Trap. Golden Bonnie. Uh, gold. Uh, no, this must mean Golden Bonnie. Because I don't have. Said, golden someone Bonnie. said Spring Bonnie, but then they must mean Golden Bonnie. I think. I think. I, I don't know. I don't if, know. It's it's the last character in the chart, so I'm assuming it's also the strongest character. Oh, I don't, I we have, don't no have it. Oh. Let's see. Do not unscrew. Let's see. Yeah, I think well, honestly, what it is is it just is just a long, grueling fight that you have to just like hammer him down across yeah. time and just stay alive. Our Let's see. fourth fight is protection against unscrew. Yeah, he didn't try and unscrew that entire time, did he? It's, Can you use? I don't think so. Can you use attack down and defense down on them? I mean, we could we could try. Like, I have My armor thought, song and power song to increase our stuff. What about on his different. side? On his side, we like I just haven't really leveled up those care like people are also saying that so um so what I thought about the fan is is sort of confirmed as well. Do you think it's worth trying to get the other two the like the last two characters to help out with this boss? I they they wouldn't be leveled is the thing. Like, no. I and I don't know what they do. See like the thing yeah. is so there, there are point, a few people suggesting we... suggesting the last two characters would be helpful. I think, I honestly, I think we can do it. It's just like, it's just a slog of a battle. Yeah. I also because we because we were surviving for a really long time. We just weren't attacking him at all. Yeah. So so. And uh, if we have three healers all supporting one another, we should be able to heal fast enough that even with as fast as he's attacking, we should be okay. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Jason? So for the fourth fight, yes. If he's not unscrewing, I think actually a smarter move would be to put a speed boost in that fight. Sure. Go to two healers because a lot of the times you were just dying right before you could get off your second box. And I think that third healer is more pertinent in your second group. And the reason why is because you usually only switch to your second group when your healers go down. Yes. But you yeah. haven't been able to bring your guys back up using that healer in that other group. Mm, so my thought yeah. would be is if your speed is increased, you yeah. might be able to get those gift boxes out faster, and the second DPS is better than the third DPS. Ooh, okay. so, uh, so I have kind of confirmed with the chat as well that the the last couple of characters would help, and there's some sort of bonusy kind of stuff that happens when you get all the characters. I get the fan. I'm trying not to. You're telling me I get the fan, right? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying anything like that. The fan is like the I said there's power I thing. said there's a bonus. Okay. The fan is always a bonus. Is it? The fan actually does nothing. I bet the fan is like totally OP in this game or something. It's like it Is the fan OP? I don't I'm not gonna tell you what the fan is or how it plays into anything. It could be just a trophy at the end. What? So anyway, the, my only concern though Why? is- Why? Do you, do you know something you're not telling no, us? No, but the thing I'm saying is when it comes to unlocking the other <laughs> characters, I've played this game for a long time and, and I haven't uncovered a new character in quite a while, honestly. Um, uh, even with find characters on, okay. it's been quite a while. So that would be my only concern is it, I, I make no promises about how long it would take to find those things. Okay. You know that that's my only my only thing there. Okay. Do you have Nightmare Freddy? You, we you... have Nightmare yeah, Freddy. Yeah, we have. We have Nightmare Freddy. Yes. Okay. Freddles. Yes. We have night. Okay, so we have Nightmare Freddy. Uh. Hmm. I think 
I think we can do it. I, I mean, I can go and try to buy the, the boss drain, which I, here, if you look up where boss drain is, okay. let me know and I can go buy that. And that'll replace, because at this point, these healing boxes up here don't really matter that yeah. much, it seems like. Because it's there, either it I'm dead or I'm Or you're dead. not, yeah. Like, there is no, like, sense. middle ground at this point. Okay. It's all just, like, one-hit kills, and whether I have a gift box equipped or not. So... Let's see. So I do think that having a boss drain bite up there will help. So I forget which vendor does that. We could also... I mean, I don't have a whole lot of Fazbear tokens, um, so I don't know whether it would be, like, a full-on... Uh, bomb or whatever, like, because there's the bomb too that we right. recommended us buy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Boss Drain 05, 10, and 50. Okay. Right. So which one? Uh, where, where, where are those? I think those? those are in the, the, the graveyard. Um, I we were just, just talking bomb. about it before. Hold Cause on. Because I know where the bomb is. It's in the graveyard. Boss Drain is in. Maybe the, I'm sure the chat knows. I here, maybe the chat can help here, us out because that'll actually be faster. Or actually, it might be here. I Inside the Street Area 5 cave? Area 5 cave? That's what I thought. Okay. So, is it better for me to get a bomb or boss drain, do we think? I feel like boss drain is going to provide more consistent. Yeah. Death, or, I guess, or like I damage on the boss. Hmm. This is intense! I did not expect it to be this hard! I thought for sure, like, yeah, I was decimating I, all the glitch enemies and stuff. I thought for sure I was, like, high enough level to take on whatever could happen. You thought you were OP. I thought I was. But yeah, you I are think. totally UP. Oh, I'm getting hot, too. Holy cow. Whoa. It's yeah. getting hot it's in her. Getting hot in her, so take off some of my clothes, but not but any But mostly just clothes. the outer layer. Mostly the jacket it's that I was wearing. The the hot leather jacket that you were wearing Ooh, did you indoors. think it was hot, Stephanie? I meant temperature. Sure you did. <laughs> I winked at the camera. It was awkward. <laughs> it was awkward. Right. Um, <laughs> so, I actually did mean temperature, though. Really. Oh, I, 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 keep, keep, keep banging that drum. I keep mean. Saying, keep... <laughs> sure you did. Sure you did, Steph. It's okay. It's okay to, you know, be attracted to the person sitting next to you on, Love. on the couch. Love. February. Get that person a heart pillow. Here. Get that go. person a pillow with a heart with on it. With a heart on it. With a blanket stitch. Jason, did you watch Power Rangers? No. Well, you're lame. I mean, I've seen episodes, and I know of Power Rangers. Power. Like, you don't grow up in the early 90s and not know <laughs> Power Rangers. William Dunlap says, call Gerard. He can help. Ah, Gerard. Oh. I, I don't think Gerard has played this game, actually. Beardy, Beardy has not played this game. And we can do it without Beardy. Yeah. Come on, we're not, we beat Kaizo Mario. And Beardy actually congratulated me by saying, hey, I beat Kaizo Mario faster than he did. So, Whoa. there you go. Pat on my back. Yeah, that was nice. Right? Yeah, he was like, oh, you beat it faster than I did. Yeah, but you also saw some of his playthrough ahead of time, a little bit. I mean, it helped a little bit. Wow, helped thanks. Bit. Thanks, everyone, for just to admit. Man, thank I, you for just I was just trying to give him some cred, that's all. Just trying that. to give him some I mean, cred. Like, yeah. It's still a very hard I watched it, too. I haven't beaten it, so there you go. I get no respect, guys. These people. This, this one in particular, giving me a hard time. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, friend? Oh. Uh, oh, well, you also saw his playthrough. Oh, and by the way, you also used safe space. Oh, and by the way. I actually didn't say that part. Yeah. You, you you said, you know, man, man gotcha. yeah, a little self-deprecating no, there. No, no. Oh, it's okay. No. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay to use safe states. It's brutal. It's hard. It's a hard game. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Man. It's running right is tough. Run, <laughs> running right to win. You guys are the best. There are so many great people in this room right now that I get to spend so much time with on a regular basis. I appreciate you guys so much. I think Goober J is right. Guys, there's no techniques for Scott. You just gotta keep fighting. Stay determined. It's like Undertale. Be filled with determination. Be filled with determination. Or in the words of Chris Pine, 
Just do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. Thanks, Chris Pine. This is the wrong way. Okay. Oh! Oh, there. Okay. Ooh, shoot! Oh my gosh. Get out of her! Be gone, villain! That'll do it. You tell him. Wow! Thanks, everyone, for <gasps> your tremendous support in the room. How about you talk to Twitter for a second okay. instead of harassing me? What a great idea. Thank you. That was awesome. I do have them sometimes, even though people don't tend to acknowledge them. <gasps> wow, we have 350 new results on Twitter for GT Live. Oh, God. Let me walk a couple steps. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. Jason, you pulling up that uh, curated stream? Uh, at Fozotronio. See, I gotta just run everything. I think the, I think that he would have thought of that on his own, but no, he's just like hanging out. I think the final battle with Scott. Seriously, I think the final battle with Scott is a metaphor for Scott being attacked by his own creation. These people are here to watch you struggle. Mm -hmm. The struggle, rat people. Forget struggling in the game. It's struggling against the people in the room with me. We, you wanted Twitter, you got Twitter. Justin! It's it's Justin with an exclamation point after it, so Justin on Twitter, who is also Starmy1015, says, well, it turns out hashtag GT Live is just a big infomercial for pillows. You're so right. It is. Justin! It's our, it's our business strategy. Yep. Here we go, 5,000. Boss Drain X. YouTube falls through. We're gonna become pillow salesmen. Alright, so I got Boss Drain X. So now we're gonna reset this. We're gonna cool. keep this guy. Yeah. We're gonna keep this guy. We're gonna keep this guy, and we're gonna keep this guy. Boom. Because the med kits probably aren't doing much anyway. Bye, waspy poo. That other one? The wasp? Uh, That's the already on wasp. Med kit. That yellow one. That These are our mega med kits. So, so like here, if we want pure damage, this That's, is pure damage. I mean, you were saying the med kits don't matter. Well, yeah. fine. I'm gonna do that then. We're gonna fight Scott now. Just get it on your side. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank goodness someone is. Here we go, save. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't think you got it so bad. <laughs> I told you where to find the ending. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. We, we went down to, we took a trip to the pond together. We drowned Fredbear. We did drown Fredbear together. That was pretty, that was pretty <laughs> that fun. That was pretty fun. That was pretty great. Good old times. Those good times. Good those, time. those sweet, sweet memories. Family that drowns Fred Bear together, Stacy. That's what I always. Oh, maybe geez. that's what that ending meant. <laughs> maybe that that Scott and his two kids killing Fred Bear together stays together. Camille, that must be what it is. Camille Hawker sent us a gif of someone smashing their face into a fan. The fan strikes. Yeah, are you adding these to the curated stream so that way Jason can pull them up? The curated stream is having trouble keeping up with the rate that people are sending things in on Twitter. Really? It's at, yeah, I'm having trouble getting uh, it to refresh fast Twitter, enough. Twitter, get on That's that. Weird. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or is it okay. because... What? Okay, here go we go. Go into chips first, before you go into that portal. Go into chips. Go oh, into I chips. see what you're saying. Yep. Okay, so we want shield, okay. mimic, definitely those two. Yeah. We want... I like speed. Okay. I and think speed. Good. I agree with speed. Yeah. I agree with speed. And we just begin battle with all status ailments. They begin the battle. I don't know how long they have it into mm. the battle, though, as a problem. Yeah. Um... Auto regen, auto gift button, though, that's... I mean, keep the comet hitting them. I was cool with the counter bite. Like, yeah, let's do counter bite still. All right, here we go. Okay, now are let's we gonna try it. just two healers in that party and switch your I, over? I think I want to keep three healers in. I worry about that. I, I, I don't say, because I worry about that. Because you know what? Save it again now that we have. I'm saving it. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Okay. I'm keeping my third third healer. Let's do this. That's fine. Oh, look at the boss drain! Look at him draining the boss. What which is he doing? Got his laser is going right through him. I, what is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. But he what? is active though. Where at, By active, you mean he's an eyeball that's open? Whereas he wasn't active before. Come on. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Okay. Bad pizza. I mean, he, upset I, I, stomach. I just saw somebody in the chat say bad pizza is actually really bad, and we should. Have bad pizza is only. <gasps> bad pizza is great. Whoa. That's my attack. 
That's crazy. That's fun. That's wow. That's fun time oh This is not a seizure safe stream, by the way. Yeah, right? This is this should come with like a Pokemon warning. No. <laughs> uh you know, honestly, what you know what we could really do here? We could just let our like auto attacks just attack it. So I was sort of curious if it's uh because people said just hang in there. If it's, an if it's a time battle, yeah. It could be a that would be hilarious. If I haven't. If it was just pure time. I haven't seen anything though. I feel like I feel like I would have come across that at least, and I would have been able to like say that it's a time battle. You know. Right. No I don't ever try. Yeah. Maybe I mean, no one's ever tried. Maybe no one has timed yeah. it. This is really intense. Yeah. I'm actually really nervous doing this. I'm I'm feeling it. Oh man, fourth wall is literally the worst attack ever. Huh. Uh, string. Keep, Di Diego A. Do. Tovar, interesting thought. I'm guessing we can't run from this battle. Oh, we can, I don't we believe we can. It doesn't I'm guessing say not. It. Oh, come on. Usually it says it right below switch. Yep. Oh. Hmm. That'd be hilarious though. Right? That would be amazing. Again, that would be one of those like cool meta attacks or like one of those meta things that you just, you would never think to beat a boss that way. Right? Here we go. It's it's like the end of Earthbound, um, which I won't spoil. But it's a, that's another game where like you beat the final boss by doing stuff that you don't really like anticipate doing. And it's Scott and that too. Yeah, it was actually Scott Coffin's uh, first ever game. <laughs> Not confirmed. Not confirmed. Sorry guys. Not confirmed there. Here we're gonna armor song that. Yeah, keep our armor off. Do it. Nothing does anything. I don't think. Woo, buddy! All right. Keep gifting our boxes. I, I'm assuming Boss Drain is doing something here. Sure. Right? Right? It is, it's just this like random eyeball with a laser beam. Hey man, we're alive. That's that's all you need. That's because of my three healer technique. Unlike what Jason wanted me to do. I'm telling you. What are you telling me? What are you telling me, Jason? What it worked. Well, we'll see what works. Well, hopefully this works. Hopefully well, something obviously works. Well, obviously this, if two would work, three would work, it will just take longer. <laughs> not with that attitude, Jason. <laughs> Wait, did I not get a, oh, did I not get like a repeat on that? The mimic, what? The mimic didn't seem to mimic my gift box in that instance. Hmm. I am skeptical about whether it did. There are a couple of people, I'm not sure about this one, there are a couple of people who are saying use the original four to kill Scott, but I'm actually seeing screenshots of other people who have defeated Scott who are definitely not using the original <laughs> four. That would be, that would I be feel pretty like, awesome though. Maybe special right? Don't know about. It's been updated. That would be pretty funny though, if, if that was what you needed to do. I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, I'm a little skeptical right now, but you know, crazier things have happened. Oh my gosh. He just like keeps launching attacks. It's crazy. <sighs> Keep going. This might also be one of those fights in, in uh, Super Mario RPG. Uh, the final boss is one that like fought forever, and or at least for me when I was playing the game, I fought forever, and I was like, does this guy actually die? And he does. It's just one of those. Ah, there it is. Oh, that's it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that wasn't bad. Here you go. Man, it must have must have been that one experience. I bet you it was that boss train. One experience, yeah, one I was say, Clearly that, clearly the boss train did it. Okay. 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 All right. Go, no, go, okay. go for it, go All for right. It. I get it. Yeah. Was this really Maybe. the ending you wanted? Coming all the way here just to kill me? No. So it's all right, I mean. No, that's not I, what I anticipated at all. It's a little unexpected, but it's all right. Was I really the villain in your mind? I mean, sure, this is definitely one way to bring the story to a halt. But surely, there was a more satisfying end. The clocks? I'm assuming that's the clocks? Yes. I just do what's demanded of me. I fill your insatiable gullets. I fill your insatiable gullets with more and more and more. And now here you are to show your gratitude. Well, congratulations then. Yikes. I haven't brought this story to an end. You did. So feel good about yourself for ending the story by killing the storyteller. Ugh, grr, zer, gram. He prefers the metric system.
The end. Var du pixel? Sparklies. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Hmm. Ha. Uh. Ha. Huh. Uh. So, uh, poll poll of hands. Was that was that serious or no? Is is this a serious game? It's really hard to tell, right? Like all the endings, like like we've been talking about this whole stream, all the endings have to do with like. It's really hard like, to tell if they're a joke because they yeah. could all be a joke, right? It, they could all just be like, oh, ha ha, this is an old game I made a long time ago. Didn't it suck? Whatever. Or it could be like. It could be serious. It could be serious. It could be like. Do we need to send him a care package? Yeah, right. I feel I like know, Scott. Scott. I know, Scott. We need to give you a hug, man. Just break out a diet coke. Everything will be fine. So okay, so if I reload. Till your baby teeth fall out. I know, right? Till you rot your baby teeth <laughs> out. <laughs> Don't do it. Unacceptable. Unacceptable, guys. Here, let, did we get a new okay. trophy? New trophy. Hey. Yeah, we got Coffin trophy. Yeah. Looks like we're missing two. It does look like we're missing two. We're missing whatever here and whatever's here. Uh, let's see. What are these last two? We have done hard mode ending. Yes. Okay, hard mode ending. Yeah, what are we okay. missing? We have done fourth glitch ending. Yeah, okay. We have done drowning ending. Great. Yes. We have done universe Great. ending. We've done Chipper's Revenge. Yes. Great. We've done... Clock ending. Clock, we did the clock, yeah. Which is, I'm presuming, the best ending. Uh, so... That's all I got. Is there, I'm sure there's probably something for unlocking all the characters. That's what I was thinking. If right. You, Seeing the fan will probably give us a trophy because you yes. have the fishing ball also, which is not an ending. Right. right. The fishing ball. Yeah. That's so true. probably a fan thing okay. and then maybe, maybe something else. Or, or Here. I mean, at that point it will be four and four. Here, what's the so maybe what's the boss of normal mode then? If if that if Scott Coffin I think is the, it was the that's owl. the yeah the well the the is owl is owl? one and you can also get the crying child because you can get the the normal mode ending which is the nice like putting the pieces back together, uh, going on. You can get that one in normal mode, too. Okay. Okay. So, uh, return Hold on, I'm looking keys. up the trophies to see if we can- Yeah, I'm curious what else. Figure so, out what other trophies we're missing. And I still really want to talk about whether or not, and, and let us know in the chat and on Twitter, whether or not Okay, we got this all these. Okay, we're serious. only missing one trophy. Okay. We're only missing one. And you ha and it's for finding all the characters, so you that's have to right. find them all. That's that's the only thing we're missing. Okay, gotta catch them all. So here, let's yeah. Let's, one sec, let's You're talk to Fred because we didn't talk to him. This is it. This is the path to the game security system. If you found all the buttons, then your path should be clear. The security system has powerful defenses. Make sure you have someone with a shield ability. You won't survive without it. Oh wow, they tell you that oh, right there. Oh, oh. That's, that's nice. Oh. Instead of ending the universe, that would have been helpful. Yeah. And let's see, does he glitch? <sighs> there we go. I will tell you a secret. Okay. <laughs> cool. There are powerful chips that can only be attained by breaking the game. The red chest. Oh, I, Boom. I found this out. Boom. Boom. There are, there are objects that you can press against, and it will break your collision detection. This is a one is a yellow bird. Oh, and a no way. Another is a gravestone. I found these. I wish I had talked to him instead of wasting my time. Find these places to gain an unfair advantage. That is, Ooh. if you insist on following this path that has been forcefully placed upon you. Huh. 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 I, the chat helped me find that one out. I did not expect it. Wow. Huh. So that's interesting. That's the really interesting. The glitch just said this path that, that has been forcefully thrust upon you. Right. Right. Where, and then Scott, as the bad guy, is like, you guys you thrust are this on me. Yeah, you're forcing this on me. So it's they're are they're at odds with each other at that point. Yeah, no, absolutely. Weird. Hmm. Weird. So okay, let's let's talk. I'm gonna beat the guardians, and I want to see what normal mode looks like. Sure. Uh, because that's the only ending at this point. I think that we haven't gotten if it is an ending. Yeah. Um. That being said, let's talk about this. So, is this a serious game? Or not? What what do we think? Thoughts? Okay, so I think you have to actually look at the context around the game too. Yes. He put out this game. Yes. And people started playing it. People started 
criticizing it a little bit. It got it got a little bit of negative feedback, even though it actually got quite a bit of positive feedback as well. Sure. And he retracted it immediately. Yes. So. So he cares. He cares. Which me leads me to think that it was either a joke and people misinterpreted it as being too serious, uh -huh. and that was actually one of the reasons he pulled it back. Uh -huh. Or it's serious and he really cares about it and he didn't want to just release a, an unfinished game when when he was taking it so seriously and he wanted it to be such a statement. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I... You're insatiable. Like, on one hand, you would think that... In, insatiable gullet is like... It's, a, it's really overblown language. Yeah, that kind of makes me think it's a joke. It's really overblown language. The fact that he becomes like... A mega version of his avatar. Yeah. Like on um, his avatar and steroids seems to make me think that it would be kind of a joke. Yeah. So that sort of thing would point to yes, it being a joke. But then again, all the endings are like actually about like, hey, my past games and all this. Like. Yeah, they're all so meta, and and it's also weird if it's all a joke that it still connects. To the the rest of the franchise. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's it's serious enough that he included like Easter eggs that yeah, like you said, point in the direction of FNAF three. Right. You know there are enough clues and tie-ins that to get to like the happiest day ending. Yeah. So it does matter to the canon. It's just I I don't know. It's it's r really hard to tell what the intent was. Maybe that was the actual problem. Maybe that's why he wanted to take it back, because people couldn't tell. Maybe. That could be. And I'm really curious to see the next yeah. version. I feel like the next version of the game that comes out will will clarify it. Will will we'll, so? like come down on one side or another. I don't know. I feel like it's one of the big unresolved issues of the game, right? Well, let's 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 talk to the chat and, and hop into Twitter and, and look at the chat and see what. Unless that was the ultimate intent, and that's what we're supposed to debate. I think I think that might be what it is. I think he might have intended it to be vague and unclear about what the actual goal of the game was. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's talk. Let's let's talk. Let's see. Um, we know we're we know we're missing kind of an ending with not getting all of the characters. So that's not an ending. Is it's it? not. There's all. I don't see any other endings listed. Um, we're getting the normal mode ending right now. Yeah, so that's what that's what we're working right on right now. Um, Let's see, Scott is probably serious because why would you joke about something like him being miserable? Right, Sun it does it does seem like Sunset almost passive Star, aggressive. In yeah, a way, you that's know? from Sunset Star 26. And um let's see. Geeky Pines, uh no joke. He's probably stopping game developing as the ending. I don't know. He, really do not think that he's going to release another game? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wonder. It's very interesting. This, right? is, this is really interesting to me because I really don't have an idea of which way to take it. Which... And, and then the other other option, right, is uh, Mackenzie Nicole, what if Scott planned the retraction? It's possible. Like, it's possible. We, we've talked about that on previous streams. Like, Do we think it's a publicity stunt? Do we think it's like... It's to get people talking more. It doesn't really seem like it, it to us. It, it I doesn't mean, seem like the type. He, it doesn't seem like I, I, I And again, like, I, I don't really feel like, how could I possibly know that? But to me, the response of, like, he's never pulled a game before. Right. He's never said, like, hey, I'm making a game free before, you know. And so the level of apology that he expressed through yeah. the game and, and through his kind of behavior in, in the, the wake of the game getting like a negative reaction or whatever, it doesn't seem to me like just a shameless publicity stunt. It seems like someone who is legitimately apologetic that he might have done something to hurt or offend people who have made him and his games a success. Yeah. Dark, so, I, dark, so I would say no there. Yeah, Dark Toon Link uh, 564 says, yeah, I think it is a serious game. Um, Pedro Neves, though, says, I'm not sure if it's a joke or serious, but when Scott removed the game from Steam, he announced it like he really cared about it right. and about what he did. 
which would indicate that he's not miserable. He's not actually miserable. Oh. He's really proud of it. So I don't think it was too serious. Well, that, that's the perspective there. And that's the, the thing I was also going to bring up here is Scott, when FNAF World was released, was like, I'm releasing it early because I'm so excited for you guys to see what I've done. Like, he was really excited to share this game and all the work that he's done right. and what he's created with the community. And so for... So for him to be like, hey, I'm really excited to show you how much I hate doing these games, yeah. that that to me doesn't seem... That also doesn't make a lot of sense. Right, you know? Yeah. Um, Epic Boo, have you done the universe ending yet? Yes. Yes, yes we did. We did. It's earlier in the stream. Just rewind it back. Rewind! YouTube rewind. What? No. Um, Mod Pony, maybe he regretted being so mean to the player in hard mode, so he ah! retracted the game. Hard mode, man. It's tough. It's, it's, it's tough. tough. It's tough one. A lot of grind. A lot of grind. We're getting there. Um, and then, and then, then that gentleman Ulysses takes a, takes a bit of a more middle ground, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, if the treatment of the FNAF 4 box is any indication, he's trolling the community just a little bit. There's likely a bit of truth, but he clearly also cares for the community. Yeah, I, you know, and, and I think what a lot of it boils down to, you know, the community may frustrate him at times, honestly. You know, it's it would be understandable, right? Because there's so much pressure put on him. I mean, even even like most YouTubers, you know, will feel pressure of their community to do certain things, act certain ways, like deliver certain content or videos or whatever. And so there's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And, and so with that is simultaneously like this this endless, you know, appreciation of everything that the audience has done for a person. But at the same time, like, it's exhausting yeah. to live up to expectations of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people, right? Which is mm -hmm. what Scott's doing and what a lot of other YouTubers do. And so finding that balance of doing what makes you happy versus what makes you creatively satisfied is is tough in a lot of cases. Yeah. Um, and and game developers feel that too. Game developers feel that way. But uh, a, a good a great example actually I think is PewDiePie, um, who one one of the most interesting things that uh, like a news article that I, I read of, an interview with him that I had read was. Um, Fans, obviously, were really excited for him to play FNAF 4. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because he's one of the guys that you really <laughs> want to see play FNAF games. Like, it's... there. There's that subset of people that you're like, I can't wait to see Mark's video on this, I can't wait to see Jack's video on this, I can't wait to see, you know, all these people's video on this game. And so, he went in and he's, you know, he played FNAF 4, and he was like, so blase about it. He was like, oh no, another jump scare. Like, oh, there's Freddy. Oh. Like yeah, his, his playthrough is like, he's yeah. like, oh my god, guys, get me out of yeah, here. Yeah, it was a very sarcastic kind of like, you know, I'm so over this kind of playthrough. Yeah. And I, it's one of, if not the most disliked video on PewDiePie's channel. And the thing that, and the interview that I read was kind of talking about this. And he expressed his frustration. He's like, you know, presumably, and this is PewDiePie talking, I forget the exact quote, but he's like, you know, presumably people watch my channel and, and subscribe to me because of my honest reactions to things. They, they like seeing me get jump scared and scream and freak out, but also like just my general sense of humor. I did the FNAF video in a way that was true to me and my reactions to right. that game, but people didn't want it. So if people, so he was confused or kind of posing the question to the audience, do you want me to actually respond the way I would to a game? Do you want me to actually create a video as I see it for FNAF 4? Or do you want me to just kind of put on reactions and put on scares and stuff just because that's what you want to see. Do you want me to? Do you want to see me basically act the part? Right, because I feel like a lot of the a lot of the big let's player guys who are, who are all let's plays, you've got to become jaded about this stuff, or you've got to become desensitized to a lot of those kinds of tropes in video games. Well, even even me, like speaking, like I'm not a let's player really. Like the GT Live is is kind of that for us, I guess. But it's one of those things where watching you play FNAF. I've seen those jump scares so many times at this point that to me it's such old hat that I'm right. just kind of sitting back and laughing at you getting jump scared. Thanks, thanks. 
Well, I mean, you can watch the stream. It's in the archive channel. I'm not the bean one here. He was like, ha ah, ha ha. But you're dying. Ha ha ha. But then I played Five Nights at Flump or One Night at Flumpties, and I was really surprised, and it was really scary. Yeah. Like, it was really fun. Yeah. Um, excuse me, because it was a brand new bless set you. of jump scares. It was a burp. You don't have to bless me. It's I bless okay. you anyway. Thank you. I appreciate your blessings. No problem. Uh, I could use them. Uh, but anyway, so but but that's the thing, right? Is Let's players got to become desensitized to a lot of this stuff. And so it, it's hard, I think, for a lot of them to stay authentic, like, to actually have authentic, like, scare reactions to a lot of this yeah. stuff. It, it's, in it's interesting. Speaking uh, of scary games, by the way, dovetail oh. dovetailing off, we've got, we're hopefully, knock on wood, we can get it. Yes. We've got a uh, new scary game for Scary Games Friday, and... I'm really excited about it. I know you are too. I I came up with this really idea the other night. Really excited about it. Uh, it ties into a theory that we have going on a game that a lot of you have been requesting. Uh, so it's we're not playing Undertale, but we are playing something that may relate to Undertale, and that I don't think a lot of people have seen, and that is a very scary game. Um, yeah, it's a legit. Legit back to scary game. It is. It is intense. Friday. Uh, it's intense. It's scary. It, it has to do with Undertale. Turn off the light. You'll see a lot of Undertale in this game. Get ready to be spooked. And actually, it's you know it may have to do with uh, Toby Fox himself. It and it also is very pertinent for a game theory that we have coming out in the next like week or so. Yeah. Uh, so get excited for Friday. Uh, tomorrow we're doing like this. You can get a little stuffed up there. Mm. Tomorrow we're doing like a little fun. Mm. Uh, tomorrow we're doing like the strange. Yeah. Because uh, we're continuing that playthrough. But uh, Friday, Scary Games Friday. If you like FNAF, if you like Undertale, you are gonna really dig Friday Street. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I think. I we hope we. Yeah. Find it. Like, I hope we. I hope we can do it. We have to find it first. Yeah. But here we go. Okay. So save. I'm going in. Go in. Do uh, it. Chip wise. He doesn't jump scare, so we're gonna do defense, strength, speed, gift boxes, I guess? Regen. Let's do regen. Okay. Regen, there we go. All okay. right. Find characters. Find characters, that's Find what characters. I need. All right, here we go. Normal ending. This is it. Let's see what it does. Gift box. Make bites. Uh, give me ball. Uh, yeah, no, there there you go. Go. That's, it. That's what we needed, right in time. I was like, oh, are you going to get it up? I know, I was waiting for the guy. Uh, power. And... Get box. There we go. I think we let This, okay, so this I-beam works pretty well. It's doing a good job. Oh man, we've got some guesses coming in. Do Pony Island. George Torres, we we did Pony Island. George Torres. We, we did, did it. Did it's Island. on the GT Live channel. Go watch it. In a little bit when we when we finish yeah, this. Yeah, as we finish this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no! Not yet. No! Ooh, 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 we have ooh, we ooh, have some. Oh no! Oh no! Yes! Mimic that! Give box! Yeah. Give that All gift! Right. Give that life! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, brutal! We got to come on, endo plush! Endo plush! Have a turn for crying out loud! Enough gift boxes! Let's get endo plush a turn here, guys. Enough endo plush, come on. Endo plush! Put up a damn neon wall, you idiots! What are you doing? Self-preservation, don't be a don't be a koala. No, oh. no our alarm system! What? Oh my gosh. Uh. Go, go, go! Give, uh. give gifts, give life. Oh. Man, normal mode. Holy cow. I mean, these guys are... Uh, they're not leveled. They're not leveled. Yeah, I, I didn't get a lot of the big... Uh, I kept switching guys. I, I know. This this was not a well-optimized playthrough. Endo plush, uh. go. Oh my gosh, Neon will think of this. Oh, that was brutal. Good one. Right? I need a new Mimic Ball. Get this. Mimic Ball. There we go. There we go. We're back in action. Five Nights at Undertale. Is that a game? That was a guess of Five someone. Nights at Undertale. Wait, is Five Nights at Undertale a game? Can I we, I, I, might have just been merging it. Can we find if Five Nights at Undertale is a game? I, it wouldn't surprise me if that's a game. All right, let's do it. Let's see if we can. 
Let's totally, I, we will put that on the to-do list. Not, if it doesn't exist now, it will like next week. Right? Oh, totally. Give it a week. That oh no. no. Five Nights at Freddy's an Undertale crossover game. Are you kidding? Five Nights at Undertale. Oh wait, wait, no, it was canceled. Wait, oh, what? Wow, okay. Oh, well then. Did that freeze him at all? I don't think no. it does. Snaff tail. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe it did. I think it froze him. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I totally Whoa. I wonder if that worked on Snaff. All right. What, the haunting? I probably could have done that a little bit more frequently. Uh, get, okay, uh, so there was some kind of Snaff Undertale crossover, crossover game, game but it was, it was canceled. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's so funny. Actually, it's super dramatic. So, so, <laughs> death and... Death threats and drama have caused the project to be canceled. What? I had no, I just pulled this up on Google. I have Whoa. no idea. Really? Yeah. So, serious. Yeah. news comes to design and trend from FNAF Tales planned creator, LSF Development. Widespread community hate from Undertale enthusiasts has, has dashed the coders hope, hopes Really? Oh my god. The storm began 12 hours uh, after the debut trailer was uploaded to YouTube. Within minutes of the clip being available, zealous Five Nights at Freddy's haters let their voice be heard. Wow. 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 So apparently advertising stuff about Undertale on a FNAF stream is probably not the way to go. Yikers. I, I, I don't know. Like, I just enjoy playing games, guys. Like, stop the hate. Really, like, games are games. Have fun. Like the ones that you're going to like. Don't I like know. the ones that you're not going to like. But there's no reason to hate on games that, like, Good job, aren't, by the way. Thank you. That aren't your favorite game. Like, yeah. Like, seriously. Gaming community, get with it. And just, like, chill out, okay? Games are meant to be fun. If someone doesn't like your favorite game, it's okay. It's no skin off your nose. It's no condemnation about who you are as a person or your tastes. Sorry, I'm getting preachy, but like really. Gaming and chill, guys. Yeah, gaming, gaming and chill. And chill. <laughs> well, that means sex, Stephanie. <laughs> oh my gosh. That means that means Mature stream, Matthew. Jeez. Oh, ending, Jeez. ending. Hey! Congratulations! Okay. Okay. You beat an imaginary monster in an imaginary game without taking any risks and without finding anything interesting. Aww. On the easiest possible difficulty. Yes. So great job. <clears throat> I am still in control. Okay, so Scott, Scott, I am still in control of you, and I say that you are finished here. You did away with a pretty powerful creation, but as for me, I remain out of your reach. But I believe a more generic and cliched statement of appreciation is in order for your <laughs> lackluster accomplishment. <gasps> Thanks for playing Winky, Winky Face. Face. The end. Doesn't even give you any capitalization. Right? No punctuation. Wow. Nothing. Well, I'm glad that I played through hard mode over the weekend. That would have been really depressing to have gotten to at the end. Ooh. Jason, what were you gonna say? I mean, <laughs> I think right there, it's clear now that it he isn't mad at the fan base yeah. whatsoever. It's oh, just yeah. He's goading you on to play hard mode. Yeah, he yeah. wants like, you to play it. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, play hard mode, and then when you get to hard mode, it's like, oh, you suck because you played hard mode. No, you're totally right. That was, yeah. This, That's this game is just, right good. There That's that good. He's not serious about yep. any of it. Great. Well, I feel good about that then. Mm -hmm. That So that was, so that is our final ending for FNAF World, <sighs> right? That is every ending. Yeah. Yeah. Clap and a half. Clap and a half. Boom. Yeah, we're so synced up with that now. I like I know, that. Every time it's like clap and a half. Yeah. All right. right. Like that. We're trying clap and a half. Yeah. One more time. All right. Wow, that was great. Good, good work, trained monkeys. Uh, okay. Yeah. Clap and a half. 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 Okay. So anyway, uh, hey, so we're, that's we're done here. We're we done. have. I, I think we're. We can definitively yeah. say, for as weird and meta as some of these endings got, very interesting. But uh, they definitely are a joke, you know, yeah. I, based on the way Scott behaved and pulling the game, his apologies to the audience, how enthusiastic he has been to share it with us. It's Stephanie is watching us do class. I know. Again, it's it's really weird. Uh, that FNAF World what, is a very interesting specimen in 
this like weird bridge between FNAF proper games into the psyche of the creator of the game. Overall, I'm really impressed. Like this was really interesting. This was really fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It looks like you guys did. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been a really successful series of streams for us, so thank you all for all the fan art, all the hot cheese references. Hot cheese! Hot damn cheese! <laughs> uh, all the, you know, weird meta commentary that we've been talking about throughout this whole game. So it's been awesome to play this guy. It was this, super fun. This with you guys. Yes. And in the meantime, remember guys, that's just a stream. A live stream! Thank you so, so much. For getting cheesy with us. Getting cheesy with it. Da na 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 LK Phillips, au revoir, au revoir. Oscar Lemley, bye guys. Mike Quickscopes, goodbye. Ghost K, see ya. JP Martinez, Matt Pat rules. JP Martinez, you rule.